Run VT Errol E. To play. What's the day? It's the rainbow. We man and the masters of the Luniverse. I went down to Cornwall. Yeah, that's enough of him. Right, what are we doing? Hello, um, character. <laughs> oh, scary ghost. Oh, special effects here. I bet Predator never wore uh, corrective glasses. <laughs> so... <laughs> it's all right, it's just me, it's all there. Oh, it's only you, <laughs> you rogue. <laughs> hey, you all right. Well, welcome, everyone. And, uh... Yes, hello, Tony's hello. back. <laughs> no, that's Tony's front. Dun, 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 dun. Hey. <laughs> We're all over yes. nice. the place. There was a, a oh nice. There was a massive <laughs> mix-up on my on my behalf last time. I I dropped a big old bollock, uh, and um, yeah, I I did realise that the two crossed over, and it was also a uh, film club night. So we had an event on, and I forgot all about it. And then, yeah, he prioritised someone else. I, yeah, I prioritised <laughs> my own people. So The North. The North. Ooh, <laughs> king of the North. You stay up over there on the, <laughs> that big cliff. That's you, yeah. Puggle, Danger Mouse, and uh, Trapdoor may be Hello, mentioned Matt. tonight. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, even Mike. Mike's from Kentucky, I believe, and he's... I was surprised how many Americans knew who Danger Mouse and Duckler was when I showed them. Yeah, um, they they got uh, picked up by Nickelodeon, obviously, um, a little bit later on than, than when we first had them. But, they, they, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think Count Duckler did quite well in the States. I'm not sure about Danger Mouse, but Count Duckler did really well. Hmm. But we'll get to those. Uh, Adrian's here. Good evening. Evening, evening. And uh, Pugwell's on the wrong channel, on the wrong show. We did Metal Mickey under uh, live action, I think, didn't we? On the on the first one, yeah. I bought yeah. everybody socks off for ten minutes about my love of Metal Mickey. <laughs> so. so yes, that was uh, a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Philip Schofield, persona non grata. Yeah, <laughs> unless you're watching Channel Five. Uh, yes, evening, evening, Jordan. Um, uh, agents, sing to you. Hello. Round the bend. Yes, round the bend was good fun. That was yeah. That was live action as well, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. And animation. Yeah, puppets and it was all kinds of stuff. It was like a it was a mishmash sort of like uh, skit magazine show. It was good. Hmm. It was good. Very rude, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't uh, prepared. No, it was it was an odd one. You know what I mean? It was. Uh, if we're talking, if we're talking, <laughs> Gone the Gorefields and the Broom Cupboard memoirs. Check that shit out. Oh, here we go. Hang on. Let's bring that up big. <laughs> the video. There we go. Right. BBC Children's Club, Gordon T. Golfer. The video. The uh, it's nobody like, to see. Yeah. It's uh, probably banned in 73 countries now, but um, <laughs> there's how many episodes on it? One, two, three, four, five. Episodes. There's five episodes. And I think, if I'm right in thinking, there's 12 episodes altogether. There was just, like a series of it. That was it. Ah. And basically, it's Gordon lives in uh phil's attic <laughs> and every night phil goes up to see gordon and reads him a bedtime story i bet he fucking does <laughs> uh, so and tonight's guest 
Pip Schofield. <laughs> Bill, hey, hey, the man himself. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be fair, he'd probably come on here now, mate. Oh, cheeky. I don't know that's good or bad. Well, no, he, he, wants, he wants to get his... He wants to get his uh, hello, Mr. Kennedy. Oh, a friend of yours. Uh, fe- fellow, uh, fellow channel. Um... Not from Wigan, is he? Oh, it's that one. Cool. That David. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's that. It's that David. Yes, it's that one. A fellow <laughs> Wiganer. Or is it a Davo? Is that what you call refer to people up there? <laughs> We're not there all working are. class. <laughs> so it's him in his mansion. <laughs> Don't all come from Mill. <laughs> See how rough your hands are. Come on. There's not a single callus on these bad boys. It's because I get everybody else to do the work. <laughs> yes, Danger Mouse and Ducky there. Certainly coming up. Yeah. Uh, Wind of the Willows. Let me just check my list. Yep. Is it? Another, another Cosgrove Hall production. Well, yeah. This list only goes up to T for some reason, but I'm going to allow it. <laughs> yes. Mickey, Mo- uh, Mickey Dolans of the Monkeys. Yes. On Mickey. Did the old, uh, all yeah. right. Whatever that means. Yes. I'll I'll uh, I'll enunciate and uh, exp- <laughs> explain what the what the northern slang is. Uh oh, name more Cosgrove Hall shows. Oh, oh, for John McGon. Yeah, well, they're on the list. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> predominantly in the eighties, UK TV had a plethora of Cosgrove Hall shows, and every one is a banger. Like. There's, I don't think there's a single one that misses. Right, Michael Mars is here. Uh, am I? I'm sure I used to ha- watch Doctor Lib a lot, but can't remember a thing about it. Yeah, I can't remember episodes, but I can remember the beginning <laughs> mostly. Yeah, and ev- everyone remembers uh, Nanny. <laughs> yeah, not sure. Of stop motion animation counts. I'm counting it today, so it's. Yeah, Animation. otherwise we'd we'll, we'll be we'd we'll be dragging this theme out till Christmas. <laughs> so. <laughs> right, Chortland Wheelies. Now, I oh, think that was 70s. 70s, 70, 78, 79. Yeah. But, but, but. I'll get Where's you, Wheelies. Compl- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little old lady. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of my favourites of Cosgrove Hall, Chortland the Wheel is. Is he based on you? Uh, all, yeah, uh, <laughs> all three all three series plus the Christmas special in this uh, in this box set. Oh, um, special, you say. <laughs> yeah, there was a Christmas special. Um, I think it's called when something when Cholton freezes over or something like that. It's called. Oh. Uh, but absolutely brilliant show, brilliant, brilliant show. Nice. Yeah, I always love that one. But yeah, it was seventies, so. It gets a mention, but <laughs> uh, oh, Duckler and Batfink. Oh, there you go. Oh, uh, that's obviously, American, Bat- yeah. And American. I want to say very, very late 60s, early 70s. Mm. I think Batfink, my wings are like a shield of steel, shield of steel. <laughs> the sidekick, Kung Fu. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, see if we can uh, get that going today. <laughs> yeah, Jordan Wheelers. Tartan and the Wheelies. Jamie and the Magic Torch. Yes, I have Jamie and the Magic Torch on VHS, but yeah, sadly 70s. Yeah, but but, it, but again, wanna... 70, 79, I think. 78, yeah. 79. Doesn't count. Um, again, I've I've got... No, bizarrely, for some reason... Uh, where's it going? There we go. Well, bizarrely, yes. for some reason, oh. there is only season one and season two currently. Oh, okay. But I think Fremantle are making up for that, and they are releasing the complete box set of it soon. So, which I was quite thinking about, oh, nice. but at 58 quid, they can Whoa. kiss my ass. <laughs> I'm not paying 58 pound for it. Like, these, these two DVDs, like, they're a pound each now. Yeah. Season three, if, you, if you're desperate for it, there's an Australian release of it. Uh, mm. But I ain't, I ain't paying 50 odd quid for, for these again. There's no chance. No, definitely not well, worth that. Amazing no. as it was. That intro music for a start was the <laughs> 70s prog rock. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is really good. And, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it, it's, an, it's another Cosgrove Hall production. You know what I mean? It, it's nice. And they were, they, were a lo- they were a local production company to me as well. They were from Charlton Cum Hardy in Manchester. <laughs> uh, so they were all, there was only up the road. Um, ah. And like, there's different places around here that have got things set up for it. Uh, so if you go to Charlton itself, 
um, that's where, why Charlton from Charlton of the Wheel is. He's called Charlton because the business <laughs> of the company was set up in Charlton, come heard it. There you go. I used to be quite scared of whatever the hell was in the basement of Trapdoor, yes. Oh, yeah, well, there's always <laughs> something in the basement of Trapdoor. That's. <laughs> Ah, there you go, Alias the Jester was Cosgrove. Oh, oh, I can talk all day think, about Alias the Jester. I think that might be, let's bring up the list. I think that might be the first one. Portland well, Bill. And, oof, Portland Bill, now, I, I was I was always a fan of, of Portland Bill. I and do you know what? I, I was I always preferred it over Cockle Shell Bear. Now, a lot hmm. of people sort of think of that, but I never no, really liked Cockle think. Shell Bear. No. But Portland Bill... It. Um, and the guy that wrote the theme tune for it is still kicking around. He has a YouTube channel as well. All right. So, yeah, and he's just a folk singer. Uh, but his mate worked on the production of Portland Bill and said to him, we need some music, we can't get anything. Can you write something? And he wrote the Portland Bill theme tune. Uh, so if you go to his YouTube channel, him doing an acoustic version had about 79 million hits. And then everything <laughs> else he's put up has had about 10. Um, oh, so, man. yeah. But great, great theme song. Great theme song. Who is it? Is it John uh, John Grace originated it? Uh, Mike Parsons or Mick Parsons music, or is yeah. it someone else? Um, it is. It could be. Is it said John Grace? Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think I think that's who it is. Okay, but it, yeah, he, he does have a YouTube channel. Well, yeah, I didn't know there were so many episodes. Uh, yeah, considering it's stop motion. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's yeah, that would have been kind of thing. A it's, it's it's a lot of stuff, and they they were only short episodes. You know yeah. what I mean? I think there was only about ten minutes. Cocker Shell Bear, uh, uh, Portland Bill. But I always I always preferred Portland Bill for some reason over Cocker Shell Bear. Yeah, I don't remember watching Cocker Bear. Uh, not me saying uh, Cocker Shell Bear. Yeah, well, it, it was weird when it? it was about two kids who lived in a guest house on the. On, you know what I mean? At the seaside. Yeah. And like, just sort of like little adventures. It was all about mm. mm -hmm. twenty five episodes. He's like, mm. that's not much. Come with me to the rolling sea where the weather is calm and still. <laughs> right, where's the rum? Okay, uh, so then we'll get to Alias the Jester. So I don't remember this one. Right, that's single right. single best animated show that Cosgrove Hall did. It's it's brilliant. There's the DVD. <laughs> um, this is the only way to own it. This is the most expensive DVD that I own in my collection. This oh, yeah. is massively out of print. It was only a small print run when it came out. I think it came out 2003, 2004, somewhere around there. Uh, currently sells for about 75, 80 quid. Um, every episode's on here. Uh, it, it, it's about a... a a time traveller mm -hmm. that gets caught in the Earth's magnetic pull in his spaceship. Right. Now, why why a time traveller will be travelling through space, I've, I can never get my head around that, but it would surely be travelling through time. But he gets caught yeah. in the Earth's magnetic pull and he gets pulled down to Earth. But the time that he gets pulled down to Earth is during the, the uh, time of King Arthur and the court of Camelot. So he ends up being pulled into the court of Camelot where he becomes the jester because Merlin, or he's not known as Merlin in this, he's known as something else, um, uh, has done a trick and he's lost the court jester. And the <laughs> King Arthur's is telling him, listen, you need, you need to find a jester, otherwise I'm getting a new new magician. So he sort of nabs Alias, but Alias being a, 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 a time-travelling alien, can do magical, mystical things. So yeah. he uh, he always comes to save the day. Really well written. Um, it's got the voice acting talents of uh, Richard Bryars, um, which if anybody knows anything about 80s cartoons, British cartoons back in the day, Richard Bryars was like one of the, one of the main voice actors. Yeah. Uh, the other one was always, uh, what's his face? If they couldn't get him, they got Bryars. <laughs> Willie Rushton uh, or um, not Willie Rushton um, David Jason he was, he, he was <laughs> one of Des Jason did laws for Cosgrove Hall uh, he was one of Doctor Who's assistants early assistants um, why well, can't I think of the guys from name. Emmerdale <laughs> no 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 Emmerdale uh, well he's been in Doctor Who of recent times as well 
Um, I can't think of the guy's bloody name. Anyway, I, I can't uh, say uh, this is Puff in it. I'm saying cancelling the show already. So <laughs> whatever that. So as you, as you can see on the right hand side, if you if you was a, a reader of Looking, you buy Looking magazine. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, Cosgrove Hall always had a, a segment in Looking Magazine, and Alias the Jester was was always one of the little funnies that was in it. Okay. Um, the other person, the other voice actor in this, uh, who plays the Merlin character, um, and why can't I think of his name now? <laughs> um, None of this uh, is ringing a bell. Uh, Brian Wild uh, played Foggy in Last of the Summer Wine. <laughs> All right, of course. Yeah, he he voices the Merlin character in it. Uh, okay. And it's very northern in its in its like King Earth. The dogs like that all the time. You know what I mean, <laughs> Merlin? What are you doing now? It, it, it's like all the way through it. Um, but it's it's really really good, and it's one of them that uh, hardly anybody remembers it. But I probably one of the not, better, no, of this, probably one of the best things that Cov- Crossgrove all turned out. I I love it. Always loved it. Thirteen episodes. Um, yeah, that's all they did of it. Uh, it mustn't have been a big hit back in the time. Um, but if you ever come across that DVD in a charity shop, snap it up because it's worth a fortune. Right. Um, Jordan says it's very hard to, to come across it. Um, but yes, you might be lucky. Yeah, with it was. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't fabulous that re- that released it at the time. It was uh, Fremantle Media that 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 put it out on DVD. Fremantle put a lot of Cosgrove Hall stuff out early two thousands. Um. But it, it it just goes for 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 crazy money now. I've I've been lucky enough to have this since day dot. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. Um, nice. But it, it it's 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 definitely short. I mean, I think all all the episodes are, are on YouTube, but I think the problem being for some bizarre reason they've come off like a a Russian VHS rip, so they've got Russian subtitles underneath them. It's watchable. It's watchable. You know I mean? Yeah, you get the gist yeah. of it. Yeah, but it's good, and it and it's got really good subtle humour that's not necessarily aimed at kids. No, you know what I mean, it's like it, it it is good. It's very good. A bit of blue for the dads. Yeah, Maggie yeah. dolls. Yeah, that'll be coming up. Super Ted's yeah. coming up. Uh, I think Super yeah. Ted was definitely eighties, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, yes. Yeah. So you haven't <laughs> seen Jamie and the Magic Torch since it was a wee bear and see. Jamie, yep. Jamie, <laughs> Jamie and his magic torch. Now, how did the dog the to faster and faster? Oh, uh, that's right, Jamie. Yeah, <laughs> but can't go wrong with a bit of Cosgrove Hall. Yeah, I'm you, just... you can't. The, the, everything they touch is, is just sheer gold. It, it, it's brilliant for a UK company to do as much as they did in a short space of time. You know what I mean? It's uh, kind of by Brian Cosgrove and Mark Hall makes sense. <laughs> yeah, there's some great documentaries about them both as well. Um, I mean, uh, some some of the the sort of actors they got into to voice the majority of the characters um, are well known actors, and David Jason just kept mm-hmm. going back and back and back from them because he loved working with them so much, um, and he wasn't going back for the money or whatever. He was literally going back because they were a joy to work with. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, Fantastic Max is a name I don't know, but it is on the list. Um, yeah, I mean that that is so close to being a nineties show. Fantastic Max, really close. It must have been the back. It must have been the back end of eighty nine when when that came out. It, it's okay. I thought we've upset Ian by not liking Cockershell Bay. <laughs> but we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> Portland Bill would have eaten Postman Pat for breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was it was an earned motherfucker that lived in a lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate Have shell biz, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't heard the Portland Bill theme since back in the day. No, I don't. Think. Oh mate, check check it out. Put it in YouTube. Have a search for it after we've done this. And the the guy that did the original song is on there. He's great. <laughs> Death Wish Three is on tonight. If you're in the UK, ITV Four definitely. Where I don't know how. Yeah, why why, why would it not be on RTE Four? They show <laughs> some brilliant stuff. There you go. Was basically the spaceman and the King Arthur, I, yeah. and he looks like the Flash. So he's yeah, time, off time traveler though. That's the problem. He's not even a spaceman. He's a time traveler. So the <laughs> song opens up with Alias the Jester was a time traveler bold, but then <laughs> he, he goes on to tell you that he, he crashed from space, and you're going, 
What's a time traveller doing in space? Please, there's no friction. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's a good fact. <laughs> yes, flying around can make it go back in time according to Langoliers. That is true. Yes. Uh, everyone's saying Goose, David Jason, yep. Yeah. Rhubarb and Custard, I think, was 70s, I believe. 70s, I think, yeah. Yes. Um, uh, I do own Rhubarb and Custard. I got a root. I got a root. Yeah, yeah. But it, yeah, it, it was played. It, it was played all through the eighties. I yeah, the Briars one. Yeah. And people were saying it was Canine that was doing the voice, uh, or Bernard Cribbins. Bernard Cribbins. There we go. <laughs> Cribbins himself. Or Cribbins did every every British cartoon that was going. <laughs> and if they couldn't get Cribbins, they got Briars. Yes, we had Briars uh, last time on Almond Cheap as well. Um, Almond Cheap. Yeah. But um, Richard Pryor could play like comedy. Uh, Sinister, Oxford. Yeah, every time I think of Richard Pryor, uh, Richard Pryor's, I think of Oxford Don in Morse, where he's a right bastard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, favorite TV show is Fireman, and, and now I'm working as a fireman, helping out the charity car wash. Nice. Is that Fireman is that Sam? Fireman I think Sam. Is that? Yeah, it's... Fireman Sam should be back in the eighties. I think. I thought it was. Uh, yeah, we'll come to that. <coughs> yeah. Russian VHS has been sanctioned. <laughs> oh, done that one. Uh, classic, Fireman Sam. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot to bring my Fireman Sam DVDs down. I've got a few of those. Raggy Dolls. Uh, I think, yeah, that's coming up. That's on the list. Yep. Uh, Wind in the Willows. That's not on this list, but I think it's there's a reason this list goes up to T for some reason. I don't know why. But... We'll yeah, well, Wind, Wind, Wind of the Willows was, was yeah. fantastic, really. It's... Fantastic. Oh, hello, Neil. Evening. Love Fantastic Max. I'm going to use... Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. I haven't missed Duck it up. No. Oh. The Magic Ball, is that? The Magic Ball. I don't know that one. It's not on the list. <coughs> yeah, oh, he hasn't seen Fantastic Max since 1990. Will of the Wisp, I think, is 70s. but uh, 70s, yeah, Will of the Wisp. I got it. Oh, I've, that's I've, yeah, I've got it down here as well. Well, the the there yeah, that VHS version, the complete also got um, maybe that. But yes, that's uh, Kenneth Williams. Kenneth Williams, yeah. There's a uh, the, ah, the same company released it on DVD. Twenty six episodes. There's more than that, surely. <laughs> uh, it, it just got absolutely played to death, didn't it? It's, <laughs> it's one of the best. Uh, and all, all yeah. these, yeah, all all these from what was the name of this company? That put these out. I can't remember what they were called. Oh, right. cult, cult gold kids who put all all this kind of stuff out. Yeah. You can pick these up pretty cheap. The only one that'll ever cost you daft money is the complete <laughs> Crystal Tips and Alistair. Oh yes. Now all change. Do you know that's not an animated? No. No. The all amusement electric amusement arcade. No. Did no. that musical drama? Yeah, it's a drama. All sorts we did. Alphabet, yeah, Alphabet Zoo. Zoo is a cartoon. Uh, not one, not one that I own. Not one that I was massively into. But no, it, uh... like no pictures. Uh, there we go. Pictures. Nineteen eighty three. Oh, some of that's not right because <laughs> there's a lot of books called. Yeah, Alphabet I think Zoo. it was a it was a kids educational show if I remember right. rightly. <laughs> was on bloody C facts, or was that a video game? <laughs> that, uh, looks like it could be C facts. Yeah, <laughs> bit of, but yeah, I don't remember that one. Like I said, I, re I remember it, but anything educational. But time you come home from school, why would I watch that? You know what I mean? <laughs> what about some morph? Morph, yep. I always like morph. Um, Who was the bad guy? Morph. I've heard him. Yeah, see, there's so many sort of like incarnations. Of, of morph uh they all sort of like roll into one yes because um, this is the amazing adventures of morph and i think he definitely had more because this is just how many episodes yeah it, it wasn't this one just him Chaz, and tony hart that was that, Chaz. Was that, yeah was that's that like, three in this and then there's other other incarnations where there's other characters as well gobbledygook um folly oh they what's their name gillespie delilah grand morph nail brush chaz hmm Oh, so maybe that one is. This is the one where there is this more than the... one character. Yeah. Yeah. So was this yeah, the one that came it, it was on? Episode... Yeah. Was this a, was it a standalone? This or was it part of think... the Tony Hart show? 
I think this is the separate one because it runs for. Yeah, because there was five a minutes. segment, wasn't there, during Tony yeah. Hurt's show as well with Morph. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I like, I like Morph. I always like Morph. It's uh, it's quite a decent decent show. Chaz, thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I will come to the shoe people. Um, didn't Morph <laughs> get melted in the factory fire alongside Gromit and the Lurk Pack Man? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Luckily, it's very easy to replicate. Yeah. <laughs> oh crap, I'm going to miss the load again. Uh, where are we? It's the trouble of jumping right. Evil Edna. Yep. Uh, Ramon's here. Good evening. See what he remembers from Dutchland. Drop yeah, bags. Max. Yes. Uh, she had her own show as well. Yes. Um, Somehow. Yes. Yeah, to, to be fair. Out, out of the Pink Windmill stuff and Ronald and Emu, she was probably the best character in it. Um, she en she ended up presenting children's RTV for, for quite a while. Of I think she did about yes. yeah, she did about twelve months of it, where it was uh, Grot Bags, Croc, and what the hell was the robot called? <laughs> uh, where they hosted ev ev every day after school, they hosted the show. Ah, yes, I remember um, that now. Yeah, and she, she had her own show as well as, and then obviously Pink Windmill and Ruddle and Emu. Yeah, uh, I think... No, this, I don't know why this cuts off at T. Oh, no, there's next page. There we go. We've, probably, yeah, we've missed a load of the episodes. Ah, <laughs> They've turned ah, it into two pages right. now. Uh, see, where's Little Gummidge? I thought that was 70s, but... Uh, um, the, yeah, I think it started from the 70s, but I think it, it worked its way yeah. well through into 80s. Uh, so there's Trap Door coming up next, and... Everlink, yeah. So they've moved the page around. That's why I couldn't find any. Yeah. But oh yeah, I was supposed to be looking at Thomas the Tank Engine. I think Thomas the Tank Engine uh, is not uh, Thomas and Friends. There you go. Thomas and Friends. Yeah, it would have been right. Come back to that. Yes, Kenneth Williams did Willow the Wisp. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Major. the Fat Fairy. Was she called the Fat Fairy? Because is that gonna fly? <laughs> uh, yeah, what's she called the fat furry in it? Well, she was a fat furry. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's no getting away from it. That's what she was. That's what she was but... Barnaby and Barna Papa. 70s? I don't know that one. Uh, Barnaby, is that. Um... Oh, Barnaby. Is he a dog? Ah, it could be. I remember a dog called Barnaby. Yeah. Uh, shoe people's coming up. I remember that. That's Charles. Love the shoe people. Didn't walk it, yeah, than that. See, Pottington Peas, I think that's coming up. Yeah. Down um, at the bottom of the garden, <laughs> amongst the birds oh, and the bees. Batman with West, Dog Tanyon, and Mysterious Cities of Gold. So I love Mysterious Cities of Gold. One of my all time that. favorites. And everybody else seemed it? to hated it for some reason. But I hated it. I hate Dog Tanyon, but I love Dog Tanyon. Rick, Rick, my mate, absolutely detests it still. Like, I can't even talk about it. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like, but for some reason, I, I loved it. I thought it was great. Uh, I feel like taking the deaf work and lining up a YouTube playlist of one episode of each of these shows. <laughs> Everyone is mentioning. Yes. You'll yep. be sucking your thumb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, everyone, it's all coming back to me now. Yeah. The Parishers with Lord, uh, Leonard Ross at a, at a dog called Boot. I remember the Parishers. Uh, is that on the list? I don't remember seeing that. No. Don't see it. Perishing kids. Ah, the robot was Robert Redford. Robot Redford. Right. <laughs> robot Redford. <laughs> Tommy Tank said Thomas. Thomas <laughs> Tommy Boyd was on the picket line with the ITV presenters. So we got Grap Hogs on zero hours. <laughs> uh, Brave Star is America. Well, beyond, yeah, both. both oh, and uh, yeah, I mean, Bra Brave Star was done by Filmation. Uh, Thundercats was done by uh, was it uh, was it did it work ranking? Was it who the hell did Thundercats? Yeah, I'm trying to think. I can see the logo every episode. Yeah, uh, it was. Hold on, I've got the box set here. Yeah, Super Ted, Banana Man, and Super Gran. Yeah, they're on the well, they're on the list. That's the old. That's the big old co oh, complete collection of yeah. Thundercats. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, telly, telly bugs. No, we're talking. Telly bugs is. Don't know. Let's see if it's on the list. Yeah. If it's animated, we'll have a go at that. 
Right, yeah. I'm going to crack on in a second. <laughs> so I'm going to have to ignore your comments if it's not about the thing we're talking about. The only person who liked Mysterious City's goal was Philip Schofield in the broom cover. <laughs> no, I, I, I loved it. I, I loved the intro, the song, the, the, the show was pretty good. It was like French-Japanese <laughs> crossover animation that got dubbed into English. It was great. The Herbs. Yeah, The Herbs. Don't see that. What's the... I feel, uh, mid-70s, I think, The Herbs. Ah, okay, yeah. The Peter Maddox cartoon trilogy. Family, that's Jimbo and Penny Crayon. I think Penny Crayon's on here. Uh, yeah. Penny yeah, it's um. There's another. I'm sure there's a. They did another one as well. Damn. There's always something at the back of my mind that there was four that they did. Right, we're gonna crack on. We haven't even got through a yet, have we? <laughs> <laughs> we're half an hour in, so I'm gonna have to only relevant comments. You'll have to talk amongst yourselves. Right, Andy Robson, what's that? That's a drama, probably, is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so bad the one boys. Below it. Bad boys comedy drama. No, Badger right. Girl. Education all way. Yeah, uh, the bag Thorpe side uh, drama, Backstreet Boys. Nope, sorry, Baker Street Boys. Nope, that'll Don't be know. another. Uh, Wait, right. banana man. Here we go. Here uh, we rip go. off of Shazam. <laughs> there we go. There he is. The ultimate collection, forty episodes oh, yeah. on three discs. The goodies. Um, yeah, that's basically what it was. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. It. Banana Man, I think, no, well, the dandy owned the license for Banana Man. And right. then when the when I think the Beano may own all the licenses for the dandy now, I think. Oh, okay. Um, Makes but, sense. But, yeah, I mean, Banana Man, fantastic. You know what I mean? It's uh, yeah, a it's stupid awesome. superhero that... His, uh, his alter ego was more stupid than <laughs> Eric. E Eric had more <laughs> common sense than his alter ego. Was, uh... Eric and is if it Banana Man. And, and if it, yeah, and if it wasn't for Crow, <laughs> then Banana Man would be bollocks, wouldn't it, really? Because Crow, Crow <laughs> did all the crime solving, really. Um, Just like the Inspector but, Gadget, girl. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, and, and Penny and Brain. You know That's it, mean? Penny, yes. Yeah, but... Yeah, there's, there's there's a couple of, of, of different editions of the complete Banana Man, but this this is the best one. Um, there's a documentary right. on here as well, um, <laughs> yes. with Tim Brooke Taylor and Bill Oddie oh, about nice. Banana Man. That's cool. So three series, forty episodes, uh, eighty three to eighty six, and then reruns, of course, for <laughs> for longer. <laughs> yeah, because they, they were like. They were like ten minutes a piece, weren't they? Like, they, they were yeah. Or five minutes, according to that. Yeah. 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 Like, it's not long at they, all. They could, yeah, they could blast them out as whenever they wanted. There was a lot of that kind of stuff in the eighties, short segment pieces that were that were put into the middle of the slot, so yeah. like pad it out a bit. But they went on to do big things. They were they were really popular. There you go. This is twenty nine Arcacia Road, and this yeah. is Eric, the schoolboy who leads an amazing devil life. But when Eric eats a banana. An amazing yeah. transformation, transformation occurs. occurs. Eric is Banana Man. Banana Ever man. alert for the call to action. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it, it's good. It, it, it is very good. It is. It's probably still holds up today. The last time I saw it, yeah. Yeah, because so. again, it, it it it's it's one of those shows that kids will love it for what it is. But if you're a parent sat watching it, there's loads of sort of like little bits of humour that, that kids wouldn't get. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of innuendo, and you know what I mean. It, it, it is really, really good. And I think that was down to the people that that wrote for Banana Man. Obviously, with with the dandy writers writing for most of it, then and you bring in like three comedy geniuses on with it. Then yeah, <laughs> wonder if he bled Nesquik. Oh, sorry, I clicked. <laughs> <laughs> One stayed in the B and B in real that had a Banana Man bed sheets. Was this brilliant? <laughs> I, I, if it's recently, tell me where it is because I'll go and steal it. <laughs> Banana Man's sidekick was a crow called Crow. Yeah. There you go. Ah, there you go. Can't remember watching Badger Girl. Yes, it was a part of Look and Read, indeed. Yeah, there was quite a few of them. Uh, Dark Towers being the better one of them all. And then Stephen King ripped it off. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Bang as a Mash is an animated children's cartoon. Wow. Yeah, about was it about two monkeys? This, if I remember rightly, chimpanzees. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> uh, yeah, they got up to got up to mischief. Uh, the theme music yeah, was done by Chaz, Chaz and Dave. 
<laughs> cool. What year was it? Uh, 89. Uh, again, look, another, another one that only rang for, for five minutes. Uh, just about ah, yes. two monkeys that got up to mischief. Right. I remember those two. I don't think I watched it. Yeah. But but add add Chaz and Dave in there, boom, you're on it, aren't you? You know what I mean? It's uh... <laughs> yes, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so yeah, only twenty five episodes again, and only ran for a couple of months, five minutes each. Chaz and Dave, uh, Ian Sachs. I think we've seen him a few times in, in these shows, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, but another one that, that was just used to to, to pad the runtime out. Yes, rabbit, 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 monkey, <laughs> monkey, monkey. Oh, <laughs> better than Disney, monkey rabbit. <laughs> right, let's see, that's bang as a mash. Barney, is that? Oh no, animated television. Yeah, Barney. yeah, but but a dog. Oh, again, oh, Tim uh, Brooke Taylor Tim, again. Tim, Tim Brooke Taylor again. Yeah. Let me uh, see that. Oh, Harry Anfield. Harry Anfield. Uh, uh, and yeah, Retail. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why don't I recognize this? I blocked it all out. Yeah. It's, oh. It, it, he, had a, he had a friend that was a mouse, I think. Um, <laughs> I've, I've got some old recorded from TV episodes of this that were recorded off the children's channel on uh, cable back in the day. Uh, and it's an okay show. It was aimed at a younger audience. Yeah, I think um, it does look like it's a bit more on the serious side, isn't it? Yeah, it was... It, 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 it's okay, you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's a talking it, dog that's got a most of friend <laughs> that, that lives in his fur, you know what I mean? It's... Uh, <laughs> uh, barriers... Don't think that's animation. Beat the oh, teacher. I've done that. Bertha. Yeah. Stop motion. Uh, stop motion. Um, I I'm... am desperate to get hold of a complete collection of Bertha, and it's really hard to find. Aha. Again, by the same people that did the original Postman Pat. Uh, really, really good show about um, a machine called Bertha that could make anything that it was programmed to make. But normally what happened was there was some kind of calamity, <laughs> something went wrong, and then they make it right again, every episode. But so, again, yes, another it... one that had a, had a really good uh, intro. Bertha, lovely Bertha, you're a wonderful <laughs> machine. I didn't so. I'm guessing because it was setting a factory, it was a aim for people up north, so. Northerners. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's why we've got some kinship to it. <laughs> but yes, Roy Kinnear doing the voice. Yep, Roy Kinnear, that one. Yep. But yeah, uh, when did that come out? 85 to 86. Yeah, I remember the pictures now. <laughs> it's a, just a, like a children's version of Stephen King's The Mangler. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> the nail on the head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the machine. <laughs> it looks like Chock a Block. Chuck a block, chuck a block, chuck a block. I, I yeah. love chuck a block. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. We've got people crying into their <laughs> yeah. beers. We'll have, people, we'll have people up all night now just scouring YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Look, and eBay for banana man, <laughs> single doobies. <laughs> ah. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, there's lots of cool. Very offensive, uh, Paul uh, Philip Schofield jokes in the chat. Birth of Thorough had a coal mine. <laughs> I, I don't pit. And the trade union floor steward visits. <laughs> Give the northern the, the education they need. <laughs> <laughs> right, where are we get to? Beat the teacher off. No. Uh, uh, Billy Will, because that's Welsh. Um, yeah. Bill the Minder. Don't know no. that one. It looks animated, but it could just be the picture. Yeah, don't know that one at all. It looks like it's one of those, yeah, they bought it from a different country. 
yeah, like it, 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 it'll come in from like Ukraine or somewhere like that, <laughs> Russia. Or, you know what I mean? If I if our TV put it on, then it, <laughs> yes. every possibility that they bought like it's two right, seasons it. of it for a tenner. You know I mean? <laughs> well, yeah, none of this is looking familiar at all. There's barely any information about it. So forget you, and well, forget that too. Right, book uh, Blue Peter. We did. Bluebirds. Yeah. Nah, we did the that. Drama. The Blunders. There we go. The, 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 the Blunders. In sacks again there. Frankie Howard voice, of course. All the... Yeah. Oh, the Blunders. Which... Look like? I wish bloody Wikipedia had pictures. Right. Hilariously... Come on. Is that it? No, that's new, isn't that's it? That's the book, yeah. David yeah, was TV book. show we want. Someone, he's obviously ripped them off. Oh, hang on. Yes, this looks familiar now. This family picture. Yeah. See if anyone knows. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, the, it, it's it's firing a spark somewhere. It's not yeah. what I properly remember, but it, it it's, like it's it kicking well. something off. Yeah. Oh, 30 episodes. So uh, yeah, yeah, so it was, and I would imagine, fat again, five minute run times. It, yeah. It, it would have been battered. Oh. Frankie Howard's in it. Um, let's see if anyone knows it. Adrian's there. Yep. <laughs> Struggling to remember the blunders. Yeah, I, I, I remember the ident. It's, it's about as much as... as um, I'd have to go back and maybe watch an episode or something. <laughs> There's something yeah. at the back of my mind that, that, that's trying to say, yeah, you know it, but... Uh, children's novel. That looks fun. Brick a brack uh, Brian Kant's not animated. Yep. Uh, buddy's drama, bike, uh, button moon. We did as puppets last time. Biker grow. Yep. CAB is <coughs> junk shop. Done that right. Is that Captain Z? Um, Captain oh, Z. Close. Is it? Oh, it's a quiz. Is, drama uh, quiz. Don't remember that. I don't. Know. Some of these don't seem to be on the, on the list last time we or any of the shows with this. Younger viewers, Charlie Chalk, stop motion. He's there got, you go. Yep, he's got a funny way of walking and a wacky way of talking. You can't describe someone like that now. They've obviously got <laughs> issues. Uh, I like Charlie Chalk. It made no sense whatsoever, but it it was really good. Like it, it's it's a good <laughs> quality show. Um, ah, I seem to remember his clown face. Yeah, he falls asleep in a boat. The boat ends up being washed up on a desert island. <coughs> but the desert island's quite quirky. It's got, like, loads of other weird creatures living on there. And like you say, you can see the woman that, that's there. She's some kind of captain. Um, and some kind of elephant creature. And it, it was it was weird, really. But it it is good. It, it's... <laughs> but that... Uh, oh, 13 episodes. Who's... Doing the voices. No one Again, it's one of them that just got played on repeat. Yeah. Uh, 86, 80, uh, 88, 89. 50 minutes an episode, approximately, from Woodland Animations. This time, some are a bit different. Right. Uh, we did the Cheggers. Yeah. We did the Children's Award, Chocolate Block, Narnia, Chuckle Vision. To me. Ooh, Too soon. Vision again. Oh, here we go. Clocker Shelby. Shelby. 104 episodes. It was, yeah. It, Bloody hell. Yeah, it was really popular. Really popular. Don't think I... But it, I, I just found it all a bit too mundane and a bit like mm. real lifey and boring. Even the song at the beginning. It's not <laughs> even like a proper song. It, it like just introduces the two characters. Yeah. Here's Robin and here's <laughs> Rosie. You know I mean? <laughs> they live in a bed know. and breakfast by the sea. You know what I mean? It's like, mm. <laughs> and the They're real jam sandwiches for the dinner. Yeah, they've, they've the got a friend. Kids. Yeah, they've got a friend that's a seagull. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> hey, you didn't <laughs> have a friend that was a seagull. I would have been with him. We didn't have we didn't have seagulls till mid nineties. <laughs> exactly, must have. Uh... But yeah, I must have missed Charlie Chalk. Perhaps I was clownophobic, I'm going to call it. 
but there you go, Cockershell Bay. Plenty of. I remember the books in the, books. In the shop. Yeah, it, but like I say, it, it was super popular. You gotta be careful with this image shirt because uh, I think the filters are off. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. So you can come up with anything. Right. <clears throat> Codename Icarus. Oh yeah, that's fun. Here we go. Got a duck. So now I've got this amazing VHS that doesn't work. It's uh, <laughs> hang on to me first. It's got a stick 3d stick on the front and then it's got little led lights and then it used to have a button on it and you pressed it and it was supposed to light up but it, of course that's it's all cool. knackered that's all yeah it's all knackered unfortunately what well, swords on it it's dark in there i can't see you show off yours <laughs> while i get my torch going so that's the complete collection uh there's there's three iterations of ducula uh complete collections there's three individuals that you can pick up to make the complete collection the one before this that comes in like a big digi pack that opens out which i'm not the biggest fan of uh and then this one they've all the same discs they've all got the same bonus features on them now i am led to believe that there is a digitally remastered version coming out of this Ooh. that's been put into uh widescreen digitally remastered in widescreen where these are in four <laughs> three so yeah. how they've got about doing that, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> but it's uh, again another one when it comes out, fifty eight quid. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not buying into it. This this set alone, second hand, this old set is still really expensive. Mm. This is still about a thirty five pound set, I think, to, to to pick up second hand now. Um, but if you're gonna look for it, this is the the the, the best way to pick it up. Um. The only thing I don't like is the discs are stacked. Uh, um, not, not the biggest fan of a stacked disc, no. but uh, the Digipack one just falls to pieces over time. Um, yeah. But as a show, um, I mean, I don't know if people know what the story is behind Count Duckula, but Count Duckula was a villain in Danger Mouse. Uh, he appeared in a couple of episodes of Danger Mouse. And fans loved him that much that the <laughs> the sort of fan mail that was coming into Cosgrove Hall uh, were saying, "Listen, we'd like to see more of of Count Duckula." And they looked at the character, and in in the episodes of Danger Mouse, he's quite a dark character. He he looks ah. like a, he looks like a vampire. He's got red eyes, and pretty much similar looking now, but red eyes, fangs all the time. So. And they thought, well, it, it may be a bit dark, an entire thing of that for kids. So what if we do it as we have to try and bring him back? So he's like a, a generation on. We have to try and bring him back. And they make a mistake during the resurrection process. <laughs> Instead of giving him blood, they give him tomato ketchup. <laughs> and hence, he's a vegetarian vampire duck. Uh, and it's brilliant. Like, so well written. Characters are fantastic in it. Yeah. David Jason's brilliant. The voice is brilliant in it. Um, certain other characters in this spawned other series as well. There was other spin offs ah. that Cosgrove Hall did later on. Um, but as a, as a show for, for me, um, out of this and Danger Mouse. This obviously came later than Danger Mouse, but I was always drawn to Duckula. I know my brother's was my brother's a big fan of Duckula as well. Um, yeah, there was just something a bit more about it. It's it's really good. Like you can go back and watch it now, and it holds up really well. Yeah, I don't know. There's a video game, but I don't know the Commodore and Amiga. Yeah, Commodore sixty four. Yeah, there, there was a. I think there was a couple. Um, but the egg cups, you see the egg cups there. They I did were, see if, uh, it. I, I, I yeah, think I had an egg cup. Yeah, well, if you remember, we're old enough to remember them, probably met other people. But do you remember the rubber egg cups? <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, the ducula <laughs> ones. That's what they are. They're the, the the rubber egg cups. <laughs> you could like s s stick them down to a plate. <laughs> nice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, but yes, everyone loves that. Uh, something like Duckler was great. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it's here we come. <laughs> yeah, the pain in the ass. There's not many companies do it in this country. Mill Creek in the US are murder for it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, 
I know Danger Mouse was the most popular thing that, that Cosgrove Hall did. I mean, it had, it had viewing figures of like 16, 17 million every episode. <laughs> like, it's just unheard of now. For a kid's show, show at yeah. probably four o'clock Monday to Friday, to get 16, 17,000 views every episode is, is mind blowing. But Danger Mouse was, was massive for him. Uh, but for me, I, I always preferred Count Duckula. He did four times in Danger Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, cracks, GM. Uh, yeah. Duck eggs, <laughs> presumably, of course. <laughs> Duck it was hilarious. Yeah, it's, it's um, funny. The, the writing, Ed, every Cosgrove Hall show, the writing is exceptional. Yeah. Does it say who? Because uh, Ruby Wax is mentioned. I guess she must have been one of the later ones. Yeah. Or she must have had a couple of characters to be in the list. Uh, composer Mike Harding, of course. Only 65 yeah. episodes. It's one of those, yeah. yeah. Uh, what do I got? Astro Duck, The Rest is History, Another World, uh, Around the World in Total Days, and A Zombie Awakes. Written by yeah. Jan Needle and Brian Truman. Yeah, it's it's... It's really good. Like the, the nanny character and the ego <laughs> character in it are, are, are great. Oh, ducky poos. Oh, ducky poos. <laughs> oh, you'll get it. <laughs> uh, well, yes, back then we only had four channels <laughs> showing cheese and snow. Yeah, um, yeah, me and my brother just fought over which one it was. <laughs> I always wanted BBC. My brother always wanted RTV. So <laughs> let the carnage commence. Yeah. You two stop fighting or I'll get yeah. you down pit with ponies. <laughs> Right. Get the mill. <laughs> uh, creepy Crawly. Creepy Crawly is another Cosgrove Hall show that I am dying for someone to release. Um, stop motion animation oh, no. about some um, insects that live at the bottom of a garden. Uh, it's so it's so well done um, that it leaves a lot of more modern stuff in its ah. wake. Um, I mean, if you click, if you click on one of the pictures of them, you'll just see the attention to detail in each character is astounding. Like, like it, it, it's, it's frightening how good, how good the attention yeah. to detail is for a stop motion show. Um, and every character was really was like it, it, they had their own sort of identity, uh, and it was all about things. Virtually every episode was about things that they found in the garden that they didn't know what it was that was left behind by humans. Um, and there's loads of different insects. So there's a Ariadne is a spider. There's a, um, a, a ladybird. There's a beetle. Uh, there's a, a worm, a, a snail. There's, there's, there's loads of characters. Um, and it, it works really well. Like, really, really well. Again, the... The, the the intro to it sounds really northern. Like it's played it, the, the intro's played on a trombone, but the, the sound of the trombone just sounds dead northern. You know what I mean? It's like creepy crawlies. It's it's brilliant, like brilliant. But nobody's ever released it. It has got a VHS. I think there's a, maybe one, maybe two, and they've got like three episodes on each. Um and it's just not enough. I've, I've been looking over the years for, for someone to release this on DVD. No one's ever picked it up, bizarrely. I don't know why, because every other Cosgrove Hall production has always been picked up. Ah. Apart from this one. Bizarrely. Well, yeah, I mean, 52 episodes, so... Yeah. Yeah, and it, it, it's, like I say, it, it's extremely well-polished. <laughs> was it the worm? <laughs> yeah, is it the worm by any chance? Uh, yes, if they made creepy crawlies now, they'd be using fake so much. <laughs> but I would say, yeah, it's it it really, really five good. episodes. Oh. Yeah, there's no, I don't think no, there's hardly any, hardly any episodes on YouTube of it. Ah. <coughs> Excuse me, the only place I've ever found. Any VHS rips are on the uh, Internet Archive. Someone ah. actually ripped both the VHS tapes, which I think is around 10 or 11 episodes altogether off both tapes. Um, but 
the, the, the timeline that they're not in chronological order the the stories yeah. are all over <laughs> everywhere i don't know why no one's ever released it because it, it, it yeah. is good it's quite charming i think someone just check on a dvd at least maybe yeah. they don't all have all the episodes uh, uh what's this danga moose moose <laughs> i'll He's go terrific. first right. I'm ready. He's dangerous. Yeah. I got I mean, yeah, that. Go. Wherever there is danger, he'll be there. Well, close encounters of the absurd kind and other episodes. Yes. What do you got? The complete, the complete collection. collection on 10 discs. Um, this is a good set because there's loads of extra features on it. Uh, there's like interactive games. There's a couple of documentaries on here. Um, the original theme tunes on the interviews with Brian, Brian Cosgrove uh, and Mark Hall, uh, exclusive behind the scenes footy with Jason, David Jason. It's all <laughs> cards on it. It's it's well worth the pick up. Um, Definitely. Yeah, and it, again, it's on a crap load of discs, but they they've done a good job on that one. They've like put it in a band. Um, again, I think I think there's about maybe three or four editions of this complete set. They, like every five. Every five years, they they, they put a, like a, a new edition of it out. I won't be right. surprised if someone puts it out again soon. A, again, it was uh, Fremantle that that did this set. I think this was the last set that came out, but this has been out a few years now. Um, yes, David Jason, Terry Scott, of course. Terry Scott, yeah. Uh, uh, Eighty nine episodes, allegedly. Yeah, yeah. Cosgrove Hall's most successful. Uh, thing that they did uh, uh, while the studio was was going, it sold to God knows how many countries. It was massive in America as well. It's Baron again. Green it's got it's, it's got another northerner in it as in with him Penfold. Well, it's uh... we barone. <laughs> we barone. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck getting that done there. Oh, they have remade it, of course. They did. Um, uh, who did? Who, I can't think who. Pointless guy. Yeah. Um. Uh. Shit. <laughs> I can't, it was bloody name. But I, I don't know what studio put it out. I don't know who owns the rights to it anymore. Mm. But yes, I. I guess it's still going. But yeah, I don't know if it's as popular today as it was back then. I'm not sure. I mean, it, it was. It wasn't just popular. It, it was fucking massive. <laughs> it was huge. Real big deal. I know we can win the. I mean, he's even he's even got his own post box in London. Has he? Where is that? Yeah, yeah. I'm not 100 percent sure. I, <laughs> near Downing Street, I think. Somewhere oh, makes near sense. Downing Street. Probably passed it a hundred times. Yeah. But I mean, for, for anyone that 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 is into sort of cartoons and and they know what stock footage is. <laughs> Stock footage was used heavily in Danger Mouse. <laughs> you don't find it in many other Cosgrove Hall shows, but for some reason, Danger the stock footage in Danger Mouse is massive. It's it's up there with He Man and the Masters of the Universe for how much stock footage is used. Like, like content that is just recycled and recycled and recycled. Um, <laughs> but it never got old. It never got boring. As a kid, I never went. Oh, I've seen all this before. You know what I mean? It 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 worked. Yeah. Uh, yes. Great theme song. Wherever there is danger, he'll be there. Yeah. Good grief. Danger mouse. Power <laughs> house. He's the strongest. He's the quickest. He's the best. <laughs> Who had a better car? Danger mouse or Roger Moore's Bond Lotus? I always thought he had Danger Mouse is close to the Lotus, but. Yeah. It's a tough one. Uh, they should have a TV channel showing just 80s kids' TV shows. Yeah, I'm surprised. No I'm one surprised. to get any work done. I know. I'm surprised <laughs> no one's ever picked that up. I'm surprised no one's ever owned it. Boomerang right. was probably the closest when my daughter was younger. So early two thousands, ah. Boomerang <coughs> used to show a lot of eighty stuff. But I think even they've stepped away from it now. So I don't think there's anyone showing traditional eighties cartoons anymore. Ah, he's got the DVD Dangerous set. That's Adrian. Mm. Oh, blimey. <laughs> yes, oh, see, Chief. Ian had watched nothing else, so the government probably would shut it down within a week because all the 40 to 60-year-old men would be at home. 
Yeah, what was Penfold? He was a mole? Uh, a gerbil. Is he a mole or a gerbil? I can't think. Yeah, I, was trying to, I thought mole when I saw it, but then I, I see gerbil. I, maybe mole. Oh, Alexander Armstrong. Thank you, David. That's He's the, the new voice. Uh, Inspector Gadget. I think that was French, wasn't it? Uh, French Inspector yeah. Gadget. Yep. It's We're doing not British a, made stuff. A, We're British, well, it's not a British show at all. I guess Northern's kind of Britain, but. Mm. <laughs> Boat Rocker Media now owns Cosmo of Hull. Ah, the cartoons. <coughs> right. Yeah, a mole. Okay. We're going with mole. Mix, uh, uh, mix the values up on Danger Mass, especially Gadget. Which one had Baron yeah. Greenback? Baron Greenback. As in, uh, yes. Danger Mouse. You, Inspector. Right. Uh, yes. Who knows who sang the song? Because it's not in the list. Reception, awards, comics, video games, audiobooks, merchandise, other appearances. But it doesn't say who sung the theme song. I don't think, unless I skipped it. Uh, for the voice of Danger Master, David Jason. Voice of Penfold, Terry Scott. Do, 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 do. No. No, such thing. Oh, Alucard's in here. Typical Americans. <laughs> oh, Ivor the Engine. I think Ivor was uh, 70s. It the 70s. 70s, I would say it was. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yep. Oh, yes, the claws in Please Gotta Be Six, wasn't it? <laughs> Only 80s cartoons, a few, a few kid uh, 80s. Yeah, a lot of 80s stuff won't get shown there, will it? Yeah, Especially man. kid stuff. Yeah. Very <laughs> right. Where did we get to? Danger Mouse, Danger Marmalade at Work. That's Karen. We've done that. Yeah. Dark Towers, you mentioned. We've done that, which I love. Puppet. Dr. Yeah. Snuggles. Right. So, Dr. Snuggles. Now, I, <laughs> I, love, I love Dr. Snuggles. Oh, it's a um, British and Dutch show, wasn't it? I thought it was not. Yes, original. no, it isn't. It isn't rightly British. No, I didn't. Think, um, I thought it was dubbed when I when it came out. Yeah, uh, that's Welsh. the complete set. That's quite hard to get all of this. Uh, but it's a it's a brilliant sure. set if you come across it in like a real hard shell box. Um, every episode. Um, this was. Picked up by Channel 4, I think. I think Channel mm. 4 showed this. I remember on S4C, which was the Welsh Channel 4. Welsh Channel, yeah. But I am sure it is... Scan is it Scandinavian in origin? I think it's a Dutch. Is it Dutch? But I always Dutch had me at it. And Scandinavian. British producers. For uh, some reason. And I don't know why. Who did the voices? Peter Ustinoff. I did not, didn't recognise that. Yeah, but it, it's it, it's it's really good. The only way I can sort of describe it is like um, <laughs> it's a precursor to Teddy Ruxpin. Yes, it like it, it, it Teddy it, it feels like it could be in the same universe as Teddy Ruxpin, like massively. Uh, it's um, but it's it's a it's a good show. It, it's mm. a really really good show. I used to love it. I think I saw it. They had a Welsh dub. Yeah, but again. I, d I don't remember it being eighties. I always had it in the back of my head. This came out very late seventies. I would have said it looks seventies. Yeah. But, ah, there you go. Seventy nine. Yeah. Was the original air date, but I still say earlier than that. It looks, but maybe they. Yeah, I, I I always had it in my head that it, that it was a it was a seventies show. Um, yeah, that's the DVD box set. That that we just obviously. Bought on syndication for for mm. show in the UK, um, yes. and like you say, I, I remember it. It was uh, coming on Channel Four on a, on a mm. weekend. That's where I remember watching it. Yeah, I think that's... maybe a Sunday morning. That's what um, I'm thinking. Sunday morning, but yeah. not early. No, but it, it's a it's a very good show. It it, it still holds up really well. And like <laughs> I say, if you were to put it together with Teddy Ruxpin, then you're in for a good time. It's. Uh... <laughs> See if anyone knows it. But the the set itself, it doesn't it doesn't crop up that often. You can obviously you can find the individual discs every now and again. Um, but to find the the complete set is it's yeah. quite hard now. Okay, we've got Doris, which doesn't have much information. Crater of Crystal Pit now is there. Right. Oh, I don't know that one. 
Uh, oh, I, do, I know the Ident. I recognise the Ident. It's very eighties. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I do. I do remember the Ident. I, I, Yorkshire I TV production. You. I also like that. He so says the Rasta Cat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're not showing that these days. <laughs> and uh, we'll have it. We'll give it a quick blast just to have to see if anything rings a bell here. Yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, maybe not. The internet's too busy streaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just turning cranky more angry. I'll get the wife off the going. Amazon Prime. Get off. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> no, it's not plain ball. But that was Doris, everyone. <laughs> yeah, again, I, I, I know the ident for it. I yeah. can't remember what the hell the show was. Dumbledore, Dramarama, Duncan Dares. He was animated, but in real life. Yeah. Marmalade, Marmalade Atkins. Atkins again. It's another um, live action show. Claymation, Edward and Friends. Don't know this one. No. Oh, it's a British, oh, New Zealand and Canadian. <clears throat> Don't know that one. No, I really uh, don't know that one. <laughs> it looks like a very young children's program. Yeah. Why does why does he look like a Lego character? I was thinking that he's a block. Yeah. Uh what does it say here? Oh yeah, there you go. It was Lego Group's first foray into animation. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's why. No, I don't remember that one. What year does that say? And uh, da, da, da. oh it's Bernard Cribbins again, Bill Pertwee, twenty eight. Mike Bart did music for it. Film Fair London and the Lego Group, and it was on yeah, VHS. Mike, yeah, Mike Mike Bat. So it's got. Oh, so look that. Yeah, that's, doesn't ring a bell at all. Um. <laughs> yeah, I bought on it as an expert. Uh, <laughs> the eighties films, I could understand, but yeah, he said he was an expert on children's TV shows. So. Yeah. Uh, eggs and Baker, we've done. Emus, we've done. The Family Ness. Yeah, family Ness. It's someone really needs to put a complete collection of this out. No one ever has done. There's oh. various DVDs that, again, are not in episodes, are in chronological order. They're all over the show. Um, <laughs> for me, it, probably the best that these guys did this show. Um, great theme tune. <laughs> episodes were, were brilliant and silly. Yes. Dead short, and, and again, it just those quick padded episodes um, that they could just slot in brilliantly. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's it's really really good. Now again, I think it's got maybe three VHS releases. I think uh, there may be two or three DVD releases, but there's not the complete. I don't think they've ever released a complete thing of it. There you go. Yeah, a couple of the best of. Uh, but yeah, with their thistle whistles, a good blow, Thist thistle whistle. <laughs> but again, another one that's got a theme tune that, that sticks in everybody's head, yes. Um, <laughs> Mr. McToot, Mr. McToot, yeah, Sergeant McFuzz, yeah, yeah, Mrs. McToffee. You know what I mean? <laughs> I did like it's family less. Made no fucking yeah, it's, it's sense. Great. It's great. <laughs> um, whereas you know what I mean, yeah, Jim Jimbo and the Jet Sets was all right. Penny Crayon I never liked. <laughs> um, they, they, they never had like memorable theme tunes to them. Were well, family less no. theme tunes brilliant? Yes, music was a big part of the, the show, wasn't it? Yeah. Um... <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's, uh, sort of like uh, the Godzilla cartoon show, but for the Scottish kids. <laughs> yeah, done, done on a budget for our TV. Or was it BBC <laughs> or one of them? I think it was BBC. It could have been BBC, yeah. <laughs> oh, you can get an audio cassette, there you go. Monster oh, Tales, The Loch yeah. Ness. <laughs> In Dolby Stereo, though, but there you go. It's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, got... there we go. Jigsaw Puzzle. It's, um, see, at, at the time as well, they weren't frightened of merchandise and all this stuff, neither. You know what I mean? No. It's there it was merch for everything, it was great. What a time to be alive! 
If only I'd held on to it or bought it back then. Look at that. We got yep. Family Ness action figures. I mean, yeah. you didn't want one of them. <laughs> Probably have to sell your car to get one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was a very good joke. We need some help. Let's blow our thistle whistles. Yeah. Oh, me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the smack. Uh, oh, the feminist was also the debut of voice actress Susan Sheridan, voice of Lou right. and, and Lars the Little Polar Bear. Thank you, Jordan. Cool. Because, uh, yeah, just Peter Hawkins and her the self there. Um, but there we go. Fantastic Max. We finally made it to Fantastic Max. Which is one, yes, I don't recognize him. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I know the show, but for some reason, it must have been really back end of the 80s. This it has got to be 89 because I, I remember this as being a 90s show. Let's have a look. Only 26 episodes, S4C and BBC, 88 to 90. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Um, uh, can't say I was a fan, um, it didn't do a great deal for me. Um, I don't recognize him at all. No, it's although it was at 88, the time was 15, so I was off, yeah, banging sluts as I was. <laughs> That's it, drinking cheap cider. It's uh, <laughs> stuff made in the wells, <laughs> but, uh, oh, but yeah, not, not, not a show that, that I, I gravitated to. No, was... the baby who fell to earth, yeah. A B sitter was a ro toy robot, uh, but no, there's a lot of characters there. Yeah. Uh, again, I don't know if there's any physical releases ever been. It says it on VHS. I don't remember. Yeah, I think it said up there. Then no, no DVD releases ever come out of it. Ah. There you go. A lot of actors in it, though. Yeah. Is anyone? <laughs> yes, that's a good point. I did when I saw him a minute ago. Where is he? I thought it does look like the Weetabix mascot. <laughs> yes. What are those shrinker dinks? <laughs> I used to have those. <laughs> yeah. Just crumpled up into a melted mess. <laughs> yeah. It's like setting fire to a crisp packet. <laughs> you have more fun. Yeah. Less disappointment when it comes out gross. Right. Where are we at? <laughs> <laughs> As usual, we're right behind. Right, finders keepers. We've done finger mouse, fireman Sam, or Sam Tarn, as I know him. Yep. Many iterations. You can know next going. door. Sam is the hero next door. <laughs> oh no, it's Punta Pandy again. It's oh, on fire. No, Sam, something's on fire. <laughs> it's a town it's... of about three houses. Yet yeah, yeah. <laughs> need a fire department and a, and a fire station. <laughs> and his mate, who's also so called a fireman. He's, he's, for, he's always 90% cause of the trouble. <laughs> you know I mean? like, just get rid of him. Just kick him out of town. You'll be fine. Yes. <laughs> uh, Great fire but again, it was, was a, a massive show. It, 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 kids loved it. Yeah. Um, again, it wasn't my thing. I've... I, I, grown out of this stuff by the time this came out. Yeah, I think I had, but it was on... Oh, yeah, I was out clubbing probably by then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get to work, men. <laughs> yeah, because I'm... I'm Norman Price. Norman Price, that was it, wasn't it? Yeah. Norman. <laughs> Ooh, Norman! Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How dare you, sir? <laughs> you could just imagine being like a public night, just being a really condescending prick. We're <laughs> 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 we gonna eat this town. Yeah, Another once he's one. clocked off, fucking idiots. <laughs> one more fire, and I'll just let the whole place yeah. go up. Sam, it's time to go home. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you when it's time to go home. Like, oh, John Alderson, wasn't it? Of course, and John Sparks, the two Johns. Uh, so yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's still going. Twenty twenty one. I think it is in some uh, some form or another. Every format. Twenty twenty three looks like the last time. 
Uh, yeah, it, it's certainly popular. It's a popular franchise. Hmm. It'll sell some toys. Yeah, of course it will. See, Welsh Santan. So it's just that just means uh, <laughs> Sam Fire. So <laughs> Sam Fire. Yes, or Fire Sam, because uh, what Fireman would be uh, Dean Tan. Right, so it's Sam Dean Tan. <laughs> What is it, Dan? No, Fire, Tan. Because Welsh is backwards as well. That's why it's Sam Tan. Right. So, uh, Sam uh, Dean Tan. Sam Dean Tan. So I guess that's, that's too Chinese, maybe. <laughs> it's just got him fire. It's just fire getting Sam. confusing, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it's a, a portmanteau of two real towns, Pontypris uh, and Tonapandi. Uh, Tonapandi. <laughs> Uh, 1987 on Welsh TV channel S4C, and now <laughs> it went off to 155 countries yeah, around the world. So play to them. Yeah, they made some money for that. Yeah. Right. Fraggle Rock, we did puppets. Yeah. Mm, children, uh, free time, fun factory, sat guide and a fun house yeah. with the twins. That's all anyone That's remembers. A lot of fun galloping horses. <laughs> that was a lot of actually. Jordi Reese. Yeah. We've well, done yeah, that man. one. <laughs> Get first off uh, the Saturday morning show. Oh, yes. Is that the sheep? I yeah. can't remember the name. Was it the alien? Get um, up and go. Yeah, the ghost, yeah, yeah. Uh, ghost train. The giddy game show. I'm sure they've added yeah. things to this fucking yeah, list. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking they've added things to this list. Somebody's updated it. Yeah, because now it's two pages. God's Wonderful Railway. I don't remember that one. No, I don't. <laughs> Going live. We'll skip that one. Gophers. Yeah. No, uh, Gophers was a live action sort of like in the in the fame of dinosaurs, where people oh, okay. dressed in costumes, live action. Gran, um, he always felt like a spin off to Postman Pat, but I I always preferred Gran for some reason. I, I, she just seemed like <laughs> the kind of Gran that you, that you'd want. She was always dead, like full of fun and doing stupid shit. Um, <laughs> it's. Uh, Waiting for a hip operation. Yeah. Gran suffers from glycoma, is one episode. <laughs> <laughs> a day at the doctor's, episode two. <laughs> so. Bad news, I'm afraid, Gran. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it is, it's really good. It's really, really good. And the whole I thing's think... about her and her grandson. You know what I mean? It's Yeah. Well, Gran's always up for doing stupid shit, so it, 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 it's tops in my book. The usual um, skateboarding hijinks. Yep. Yeah. There she is, playing in goal. <laughs> uh, Sliding tackle. Right. Yeah. Who doesn't Only want to smash a case here, a 70 year old woman? <laughs> this is a kick. <laughs> Bloody, I didn't know um, it was only 13 episodes. Again, this is what they ran it. forever. They were just always on. <laughs> but again, same, same people that did Bertha and all the rest of them did this one. It's a good one. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid Gran is no longer with us. <laughs> she's no longer with us. She's she's gone to the uh, great Gran farm in the sky. Uh, it's. <laughs> I have this Gran Torino here. <laughs> in the box. <laughs> Oh no, mine comes with a two little Starsky and Hutches. It's like a, a remake of that one. Right. <laughs> Just as because uh, it's a grand Torino, it comes up as grand <laughs> on TV shows. Right. Uh Grain Show we did. Yeah. Green Claws, I guess. What's that? It's live action. Live action Grim Tells. We did Gruy. Gruy is live action. Live action. Gus Honey Bun. Station uh, mascot. Oh, that makes sense. So, yeah, some people, I don't remember that. Yeah, some people have been putting weird shit in here. Yeah. Heart to Beat, we did. Yeah. Haunting, we did. Helping yeah. Henry. But Henry's cat. Henry's cat. Meow. Meow. I don't own a copy of this. There is a complete collection out on, on DVD. Um, all, Old's Good Money. I bet it's about 15, 20 quid. And, uh, not a, I, I didn't really like it. Can't I? Uh, is it Briars again? I can't remember. I can't remember who did the voice. It, it was just, I don't know. The animation style used to piss no, me off. Free. I did, yeah, because it's like it was like, uh, was it? It's like uh, rhubarb and custard. Rhubarb and custard, like they yeah, didn't it's copy like... what they've done before, so it was all 
moving. And yeah, edgy. it's all like they're jaggedy and edgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's probably looked at now as like quite earthy. You know what I mean? But back in the day, it's just just fucking get on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know it all. Yeah. Um, you must know Henry's cat. Cat. Uh, yeah, again, it, it was popular. People liked it. Uh, well, it was an annual of it, though. 1984 yeah, like annual. It's not uh, It's not what I possess. It looks like Henry's cat was a member of the Pride as well. So You could very well have him. <laughs> or it's just a rainbow. Or, or it's just a rainbow. <laughs> Uh, I think oh, I might have had a that VHS up in the loft, but it's in my well, car the one. sleeve ones. Yeah, mm. I forgot to find it. But yeah, he didn't do much. Uh, just annoyed the rabbit and went round town. Yeah, basically. yeah, he was. It, yeah, it didn't do anything, anything for me at all. Mm. Maybe it's under it a different was... title. Let me put Henry's pussy in there. <laughs> the thing. The thing is, in the eighties, how many cartoons about cats were there? Those lords. Well, yes, Garfield at least, which was the better one I watched. Yeah, what, what there was a, um, what's the other British one about a cat uh, that lives in a garden? <laughs> Not narrowing it down. <laughs> it might come. It might come up. It's an animated eighties show. It might. It might pop up. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. He always looked wonky. Like Rubem and Custard always looked wonky. It just annoyed me. <laughs> oh, I have <coughs> chunky marker pens with a rubber pen lid. It's being shaped like his character. Oof, lucky. Brilliant. Get it on eBay. Oh, he was pondering life, Michael. There you go. <laughs> uh, oh, he used to have exact slip case had his cat on VHS in shit condition. <laughs> Oh, Heathcliff. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. That's him. Yeah. Heathcliff. Oh, Heathcliff. James the, no cat. One good. Oh, the James cat. the Cat. James the Cat. That's what I'm remembering. <laughs> I remember a Bleep Boots episode where Peter Duncan was in a Henry's Cat costume. <laughs> <laughs> of course he was. Poor bastard. Yeah, why well, wouldn't he be? I, don't you know I was in Flash Gordon? Uh, <laughs> Huxley Pig. Is that? Yeah. That's stop motion. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. Another uh, one I avoided. Again, I have got tons of episodes of this recorded <laughs> off the TV. <gasps> How dare you? That's yes. illegal. Yes. Um, yeah, it's quite it's quite good. Um, there is a DVD set of this um, out by Cookie Joe. Cookie Joe do decent releases when they can be asked doing any. I'm not saying uh, that. I'm not but, yeah, Uxley Pig was, was okay. It's... Again, it's a show that's aimed at a, at a younger audience. Ah, yeah. Vampire Pig Butler, Vile Vincent. <laughs> Sam the Seagull will be able to speak in dream sequences in a cockney accent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only uh, 26 episodes. Ethel, Myrtle and Gloria, three girls. But yeah, I, like you said, it was probably for, I was too old. Yeah, it's uh, Too it, it's hated. It it came. I I remember it more so. I think off the children's channel on on cable, and it, it was like it was always put in that earlier time slot for the for for younger kids. Oh yeah, other people are remembering it. Huxley Pig and Sanders Eagle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, yeah, I like Huxley Pig. Uh, who are you gonna be today? Huxley Pig. Yeah. Going, going, a new dream every day. Huxley Pig. Going, yeah. going. <laughs> That's yes, best yeah. Uh, I got some of those on tape. The forties, Flash Gordon. Peter Duncan yeah, was running the DVD set down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was working his way through the Peter girls. <laughs> but there's James the cat as uh, Michael Myers. I think ringing a bell. Yeah, he is next. James the cat was okay. It was about a born idle cat that used to live and sleep in a garden, and he would always have like weird dream sequences. Um... Again, five, they were like five minute episodes, really short. Yeah. Uh, it's all, it, it's all right. Again, <laughs> a, 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 no, a notable theme tune, James the Cat. No, 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 no. I want <laughs> fame, money, and all that. No, 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 no. Alistair McGowan. Yeah. Can't be the Alistair McGowan in 1984. Uh, typical. Oh, there you go. oh, it is. Allegedly. 
So yeah, eighty four to ninety eight. That's only fifty two episodes <laughs> for five minutes each. Yeah. Two tapes. Oh, that's about it. Uh for preschoolers. Little cats and bone idol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> James the cat looked more like an owl. <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah. Or if you just couldn't draw a cat. <laughs> he does look like an owl. I do think <laughs> owl when I saw that picture. Like in the you hover over yeah. here. The first thing you think is owl, not cat. Owl. Right. Oh, here we go. Jimbo. 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 Hi, hi, Captain. Yeah, um, yeah, I like Jimbo. He's uh, it was harmless fun. We've got to get uh, these fifty Geordies to Magaluf by nine a.m. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, yeah, it was aeroplanes with faces. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> yeah, that was just, yeah, cars rip Disney's cars ripped them off. Yeah, basically, and like he flies to different locations, plane. which would then give you a new character. I remember him flying into Canada once, and the plane there was a Mountie. And I'm going, well, why? <laughs> why would the plane be a Mountie? Why would it not just be like a Canadian person? Why would that be a Mountie? <laughs> um, not like but, kids would know. No, but it, it's it, it. It was a good show. I think. My, I, think I, this, I think this is another one that my, that my brother enjoyed quite a bit, Jimbo. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's the, the, right, the There's a Canadian one on front of the DVD there, Luke. Oh yeah, where is he? Where he's got a oh, yeah, uh, no, no, Canadian no. Mounties hat on. <laughs> the royal visitors. Yeah, yeah, so basically humans exist, but they can go inside these living planes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing weird about that at all. <laughs> Nothing gross. Uh uh unfortunately Tony is one of those People that in Britain called a northerner. Yes, uh, I have got a northern accent. I am from the lovely town of Wigan. <laughs> Congratulations in... on your uh, YouTube's success at the moment. Oh, why, thank you very much, sir. Yes, we are doing quite well. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, oh, I'm yeah. from I'm from Wigan, Greater Manchester, or if you're old school, Lancashire. Yes, don't call it Greater Manchester because that makes it sound better than it what it is. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not that great at all. But we were initially Lancashire. Wigan was Lancashire, and then when then the Southerners thought, "Oh shit, fucking Lancashire's getting a bit too big." Uh, <laughs> put Wigan somewhere else, so they moved us into Greater Manchester. So <laughs> I don't know who that they had to marry up to get that to work, but uh, it worked. <laughs> yeah, well, they shifted us and Bolton. That's who they moved. Coming in your so, ears. Yeah. <laughs> so w Wigan, the, the, like the, the, the top side of Wigan is the divide line between Greater Manchester and Lancashire. Keeping the peace. Yeah. It's like a wall. You've seen Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's a big drop. But yes, Jimbo used to run along his little feet to take off. Yeah, didn't he? so he could take off. <laughs> oh, look, he's visiting the space shuttle there. Yeah. <laughs> I bet he had an American accent. I bet he did. It was someone doing an American accent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, Budgie. I guess that was, yeah, that was Jimbo's 90s ripoff, wasn't it? Because that yeah, was, well, who wrote that? That was Sarah, Sarah Ferguson. Ferguson. Yeah. I, the uh, budget of the man. helicopter. That was popular. That, that, that spawned a lot of stuff. <laughs> the Elder Gamer. Yeah, there's too many Northerners on her. Oh, who who do you know the elder? Who do you know the elder gamer? See, because I know Tony personally. Another bloody so, Tony. Yeah, so Tony owns a shop in Wigan where he <laughs> sells vin vintage video games, but he also sells a lot of DVD and and Blu-ray and 4K and pop vinyl, and he's the only independent store in Wigan that sells that kind of stuff, and. It's so damn cheap, it's untrue. But Tony is a great guy with an odd personality. <laughs> That's narrow, um, is it, Darren? But go check his channel out, because it'll blow your mind some of the stuff he gets up to. <laughs> is it legal? Well, he's a local councillor as well, so... <laughs> well, that, that's, that's crazy how something knows Tony on here, the elder gamer. Yeah, there you go. We're all connected. 
Yeah. We've had enough of Johnny Briggs and Joshy fucking Giants. Right. See, I like Johnny Briggs. <laughs> You're biased. <laughs> King Rolo. I did like King Rolo. I like King Rolo. There we go. Oh, there he is. Look, bless. Engage thrusters. There we go. Yeah. No. <laughs> If nobody knows King Rolo, he was a bit of a dickhead, wasn't he? Let, let's be honest. Because he was king, he always wanted to do everything his way. And the moral <laughs> of every episode is, don't do what King Rolo does. Do what the <laughs> other people around him are telling him to do. Whether that's the cook or whatever. Um, king Rolo was always wrong and somebody always had to put him right and he then came round to the, their way of thinking. Every episode. Um, Good to be the king. I, yeah, but I liked it, and it's another one with a good little theme tune. <laughs> nice. Um, oh, yes. A company it called uh, Demand, Demand DVD put a lot of this stuff out in the UK. They did other stuff as well. They did, uh, I don't know if it's on this list, Tozer. Do you remember Tozer? Rings a bell. Uh, they did Tozer and uh, Victor and Marie. Remember that one? About a okay. dog. Yeah, another a one with girl. Email. Oh, only 13 yeah. episodes. Mm. Ray but Brooks. It, it, yeah, it was one that ran and ran and ran. It was uh, it was aimed at younger kids, really. Um, right. And it came on at like a lunchtime slot, Monday to Friday. Uh, but it is, yeah, Toes the Dog, same company. I've got Toes here. <laughs> Hang on then. Uh, oh, what did I get to? King Row, Nightmare Done, Knights of God, Frankies, enough of the Crankies, Sooty, yes. and the Little Green Men. Um, Hang on, did someone mention that earlier? Oh, oh yeah, it's uh, yeah, the little green man and zoom zoom. Uh, here With comes Trump. the little green man and zoom zoom. Diddly, diddly, <laughs> diddly, diddly, diddly. It was a bit weird because he lived in a bush under a young boy's window. So, <laughs> it, 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 oh, I recognize him. Yep, yeah, avoid that yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, um, and now I do like the little green man. There's been no release of it, you can't get all of the copy. Uh, but he's a little bit pedo ish. <laughs> um, so it's uh, it's slightly odd. Where did the little green man touch you? But yeah, next <laughs> you show us on the doll. Well, <laughs> moving right um, along. Where do we well, get it's, to? It's, it's a decent enough show. It, you know what I mean? It's... Right, the lowdown. Luna did mad about Maggie drama. Magpie mm. done. Made Marion we done. Matthew yeah. Mickey. Yeah. Miffy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey Miffy. Miffy. Yeah. Uh, hated it. <laughs> <laughs> not my, not my thing. Yep. <laughs> um. Oh, I remember the little green man. He was like yeah. Humpty Dumpty. Exactly. Yeah. Just prepared. And he had a little star that could, when it communicated, it changed shapes instead of speaking. And he went <laughs> like just changed like. You know what the hell's it on about? Now, Mister Men. I wasn't going to include this because I thought oh, it was 70s. Yeah, I thought it was 70s. Now, hold on. Move with me two tips. I mean, guess there's no decent... Technically was, so we'll, we'll have a quick look I at have, Mr. Men. I'm sure I have got a <laughs> Mr. Men. I used to love the yeah. Mr. Men books. Oh, and yeah. then they ruined it by bringing women in. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, the, yeah, that's the complete... Uh, original series one, series two, and the complete Little Miss series. Um, all three hundred minutes of it. <laughs> <Back>. <laughs> yeah. Nice. It's cool. Oh, I nearly removed you from the stream, man. Right, but yeah, that <laughs> they've been going since the seventies. Mister Strong was yeah. my favorite. Oh no, Mister Bump was my favorite. Mister Bump, I was uh, yeah, I like Mister Tickle, Mister Bump. Um. Mr. Noisy. Yeah. But yes, uh, I'll go back to Miffy. She looks like a Sylvanian family's toy, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Miffy books. It looks very Japanese in origin as well. I don't yeah. know if it is or isn't. Yeah, that definitely. Is. Oh, Mr. Big Bump. Yeah, Mr. Bump. Big Mr. Bump fan, sorry. Uh, uh, Mr. Bump was cool. <laughs> yeah, went all woke with the little misses. <laughs> now, wouldn't it be Miss They Them? <laughs> <laughs> It wouldn't surprise me if someone's protested. Yeah. But yeah. Um we need to get to the meat of the fact with the Moomins. Hated uh, the Moomins, but I always watched yeah. it. 
Yeah, um, my sister-in-law, Emily. Hello, Emily, if you're watching. Um, <laughs> she loves the Moomins, collects all kinds of Moomin stuff. Uh, now, the original TV show was like stop motion. Um, yes. It was very well done, but there was also a cartoon of it. Uh, and oh. there is the cartoon. Someone that says that, hey, they've got to collect it. The yeah. BBC cartoon. Yeah, because I think it was live action. It was live action oh. first, and then went to a BBC cartoon. I thought uh, as a yeah Polish bit of yeah. TV show, but it's, yeah, it's 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 but it's it's based on Polish folklore, I think. Yeah, whatever the fuck they are. Yeah, I've no idea the 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 fucking the the things that nightmares are made of, aren't they? Really? Mm. You know what I mean? It's uh, the the slightly odd. Yeah. Well, there's many versions of Moomins by the look of it. There's loads, but the the, the original one, uh, the stop motion one. Yes. And it's really weird stop motion if you watch it as well because it looks 2D. It's, re yeah. it's really odd. It yeah. is, yeah. They've got weird movements. Yeah. It is <laughs> nightmare fuel. Right. Yeah. Um, there we go. Mooncat was done that way. Uh, yeah. We've that, oh, yeah, it came up as, as well. Nothing. Yeah, Moondial, so... Let's crack on. Moss chops. Now we're talking. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Don't copy it. I'm not 100% sure if there's ever been a complete collection release. I know there's, there's VHS tapes out there of Moss chops. Um, uh, but I'm not 100% sure if, if there's a, a, a complete set of it or not. I was um, like the pterodactyl. I think I had a jigsaw yeah. back in the day. Yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, there's the old dinosaurs. There's the, oh yes, the shark, dolphin yeah. thing. The, <laughs> what a dark pictures here by the look of it. it. Needs remastering. Oh yeah, I would imagine. Oh, there is a DVD of it though. Like, uh, oh, Cookie Jar, I've done that as well. Oh, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> Come out and grab you. But yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it was a, it was a good show. I, I liked it. Yeah, it's one I used to watch, but I think, uh, what's it say? How many episodes was it? 13. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a Yeah. again. Yeah. Uncle Rex. He must, have made a, he must have made a fortune, Cribbins. He, he must have just been working constantly in the 80s. <laughs> like, just no breaks. Yeah. Probably Straight through no brew. Swing fellows every fucking weekend. Yeah. And he's out to his knees and pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he lived so long. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, yes, why was a 13 such a popular number for series? I don't know. This is um, short time. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a, apparently 13 and 26 is a good number for syndication. So if you want to sell it on to somewhere else uh -huh. um, and you should only show it once a week, 13 weeks or 26 weeks, in a uh -huh. year, he's uh, very good for syndication, apparently. The Munch Bunch. Munch Bunch. I Wasn't that a yoghurt one. first, or is it a TV show first? I, I, it may have coincided with them <laughs> both together. I, I remember uh, I like the, I old school yogurt, the old school yoghurt pots. Oh, um, around from 1980, I thought it was later than that. Yeah, but if I remember rightly, the Munch Bunch uh, were vegetables as well. So I remember having a book, a Munch Bunch book, about a character that was a marrow of all things. <laughs> uh, I can relate to that. Oh, there you go, bloody yeah. hell. Uh, Blackberries, go. beetroot, mar 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 marrow. There's a marrow. Rory, yeah, rhubarb. Marrow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, Merv audio version marrow. was Eddie Eggplant. And yep. Barnabas Beetroot was uh, Barnabas Beet. <laughs> oh, yeah, Marv Marrow's Zach renamed Zuc Zach Zucchini. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh, ethyl ethyl uh, eggplant didn't go down too well in America. So. <laughs> Spring onion book. <laughs> Spud the potato, of course. But yeah, I don't... Mm, ring a, it's not ringing a bell. Yeah, I remember. I, I had a lot of the books as well as a kid. Right. Uh, music time, news at 12, news around on Safari Game Show, on the waterfront, the TV show is not the Marlon Brando film. Yeah, Paddington. Ah, there we yeah. go. 
Uh, I think I've I've only got the other animated version. Yeah, there he is. This. Oh, here he's got the. I used to love padding. I I, uh, I had an account with the Cheltenham and Gloucester Building Society, so you could get a, a, the money box. Right. And it was that's cool. And that, that's again, Cookie Jar put a, put the complete collection out. Both. Uh, I think there's two uh-huh. seasons of the two series of it. Uh, oh, what's the CG yeah. monstrosity? Yeah, I've never, I've never clocked that. That must be quite a modern thing. I've never. Eighties, yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's, it's quite a charming. The, the original show is quite charming. Yes. It is. <laughs> the fact that it's stop motion, then. Yeah, well, the, the fact that he's stop motion and everything else around him is animated. It's, it's quite, it's quite odd, really. You don't find that. Often. Yeah. So there you go. I had that there, and then I was so small I could wear its Wellingtons. <laughs> uh, yes, loved some Paddington. Yeah, uh, but yes, yeah, Michael Horden, isn't it? Yes, there he is. Yep, Ivor Wood. Is that a joke? <laughs> uh, although it says broadcast from 76 to 80, so technically it doesn't count. Yeah, right. So go away, Paddington. On the Munch Bunch, that was a puppet show. It was a puppet show as well. Uh, right, did Ormond Cheek. Penny Crane. Is that where I'm? Oh, thank you. Penny Crane. Kind of... yeah, no, I no, recognise no. the character, but I don't recognise the show. Yeah, well, Sue Pollard voiced the character. Ah. Um, I wasn't a big fan. Uh, again, same, same people who's, who did... Jim Ball the Jet Sets and Family Ness. Uh, uh, this was like, I want to say, back end of the 80s, Penny Crayon. Let's have a look. 12 episodes. Yes, 89 to 90. Yeah. There you go. Just about makes it. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah. Huh? Highly intelligent and resourceful schoolgirl with a northern accent. Of course she did. Of course she's got a northern accent. <laughs> Why wouldn't she have? Um, but yeah, Penny Penny Crayon. Um, has anyone seen the the film that's doing the rounds at the moment at the cinema? Sunday and the Purple Crayon. Oh yes, I heard about it. It's exactly the same premise. So there must have been a US version of it. Which came first, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but Penny Crayon is is our version of it, and she used to be able to draw things with a magic crayon, and they come to life. Basically, <laughs> that was it. But Pigeon Street's got more respect. Yes. <laughs> if you go down to Pigeon Street, here are the people you could meet. All the dolls scum, because none of them had a job. Yeah, brilliant. Apart from uh, Long Distance Clara. <laughs> she uh, she drove a wagon for a living. <laughs> she she was quite diverse before diversity was even a thing. <laughs> there she is. Long Distance it, Clara. Campaign to bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh <laughs> suggestive <laughs> yeah uh, uh yeah Buz- bizarre show bizarre, yeah bizarrely animated like mm. bringing b- burst into song for no apparent reason <laughs> every episode every oh, episode yeah. had a different character that lived on pigeon street but it was like it was quite diverse because you had a woman wagon driver you had an Indian guy that lived on the street, you know what I mean? A a a, 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 a Jamaican family that lived on the street, you know what I mean? So, yeah. For eight, 81, you know what I mean? Was... Well, exactly. People complained the 80s were bad. But yes, the clothes were wild as well. Leftovers from the 70s. Yeah, back in the 70s, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Uh, it says Pinny's House. Doesn't ring a bell? No, I'm not sure what that one is. I'm hoping none of these are like if animated I children's drama. Looked up images of tea bag. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this looks bad. Yeah, I do not know that one. I bought, I bought, I bought. <laughs> yeah, don't know that one. Only thirteen episodes in 1986 oh, for BBC. Yeah. So, but yeah, I don't know it. Anyone in the? I'm sure the lads in the chat know it. Pipkins, I think. Is that a puppet, wasn't it? Yeah, it's uh, it's hair. Puppet, yeah. yeah. So there's uh, Pod- Poddington Peas. Poddington Peas down at the bottom of the garden. 
amongst the birds and the bees. <laughs> there are lots of little people. Naked. all the Poddington's peas. Um, <laughs> yeah, my friend Heidi absolutely loves this show. Um, <laughs> and it is good. It, it's, it's a great play on words. To someday actually sit down and come up with every single character, right, that was pea-related. <laughs> so every character's name had P in there somewhere. Uh, it's fucking genius. Ah, the the wimp, just their characteristics. Uh, it's probably on the main page, isn't it? So when did that run? Starring Neil Pearson. Well, I've dropped the dead donkey. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Thirteen episodes. Uh, okay, bump P. Black eyed P. <laughs> Chip P, Chop P, Dope P, Dump P, Garden P, G P, <laughs> Gloppy, Happy, Hippy, Jumpy, <laughs> Nappy, PC Pod. <laughs> Somebody's actually sat down and fucking come up with all these as hundreds. <laughs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. It certainly is. It must have been in uh -huh. 80s. <laughs> Anti Peter's introduced by the beard. Ah, Neil. Oh, <laughs> Neil, Neil Pearson. <laughs> I missed that one. Do you think that was on purpose? <laughs> uh, not, yeah, eighty nine again. The only way you can describe it is like Smurfs, but the peas. <laughs> yes, so that's basically it. Uh, the Pundles looks like it's a short lived one again. Mm, don't know that one. Oof. Oh, yes, I do know that one. I do know it. <laughs> it's all coming yeah. back to me now. I, I, I once have got it off the title, but, but seeing the ident and that, yeah. Uh, doesn't ring a bell, but i got an annual, so it must be good. Yeah, it must be all right. Mind you, they made an annual for anything in the UK. <laughs> yes. I've got all kinds uh, of crap annuals. <laughs> Narrated by Robin Bailey, but it was on uh, 87. Not much about it. Yeah, okay. I can't. Uh, I can't tell you great no. about it. I, I, I do recognise it, but postman uh, Pat. Sorry, no, post sorry. them Pat. Sorry. Yeah, but we don't want um, the three CGI shit. Hang on. No, this <laughs> fucking CGI stuff is rubbish. <laughs> um, postman it, Pat. I, 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 postman yeah, Pat. just again, just the song is fantastic. Um, the fact that. The miniatures were mm. made, so every, every every section where you saw the van driving was a model that was made in miniature, and then the van was moved frame by frame by frame. Shit, photograph just to move that van along that fucking village must have <laughs> took a month. You know what I mean? Got um, to put a sheep in the road. Yeah. But genius, really, really good. No one will put the time and effort into a show like that anymore. Yes, the all. postman doesn't even make that much effort now. Just <laughs> no, he just drops fucking elastic bands everywhere and screws things up <laughs> through your door. Yes. Uh, Nobbed. <laughs> Sorry, any postman, if you're watching. <laughs> He's not. Uh, but yeah, Postman Pat, cool. My, bro my brother loved Postman Pat massively. That that was why it was a thing in our house back in the day. I was I was a little bit tall for Postman Pat, but my brother loved the shit out of it. <laughs> yeah, Granny, Granny Dryden. There was a fox. Yeah, I, I, I bet she was a bit of a uh, bit of a milf behind closed doors. <laughs> How dare you resort to this? Um. <laughs> Oh, he's still got the Youth Master Ooh, 3D slide. Oh, nice. 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 <laughs> I used to love a View Master. Yes. We didn't have iPhones back then. No. <laughs> you wanted to see clips from a TV show or a film. Yeah. <laughs> you, you needed still cells <laughs> in a pair of kids' binoculars. <laughs> you had to point it at some light just so you could see the shit. <laughs> Look, kids, it's the Grand Canyon. <laughs> uh, but yes, who did the voice? Ken Barry. Looks like Peter yeah, Salas as well. 184 episodes, even though I think that's short. Yeah. But yeah, they, they brought it back a few times. 
Yeah, he's been done a couple of times. Yeah. And you get what's uh, in my bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's Is in my sack today? <laughs> <laughs> Will Granny Goggins find out? <laughs> Pat empties his sack all over his desk. <laughs> Granny Goggins is upset. <laughs> the great flag on the comet and the group from women's all memorable stuff, yes. Yeah. Wouldn't buy it. <laughs> wouldn't be buying the oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, no time for toilet breaks either. Unless it's behind your shed. <laughs> oh, definitely had a few personal pats on his view, Master, did you? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I think they did. Uh, I did see a modern one when Matthew was younger. He used to watch some episodes and they had the the factory sorting office in the village or something. <laughs> Giant machine of slides and parcels. And it's just like yeah. he'd drive the van in one end and then unload it and then pull a van up the other end to catch all the stuff just the, that was sorted. <laughs> right, press gang, we've done. Puddle yeah. Lane, I think, was puppets. We... It's it's live action puppets. Yeah, it's a puppet. Rag Dolly hey. Is that Rag- puppet? Uh, <laughs> it was a puppet. Yeah, Raggy Dolls. Ah. Oh, Raggy Dolls. Yes, well, that's right. Getting ahead of me. So. I'm going first because I'm go off. <laughs> raggy dolls, raggy dolls, raggy dolls. I hate dolls like thing. you and me. <laughs> there we go. Oh, never mind. Hang on. Let's get yours up. Who up? I know. Oh, look at that! Um, show. The complete series one. I think there's five. Is it five series of raggy dolls? They're quite hard <laughs> to get all of them on DVD. Um, quite pricey as well, no? Uh, Is there a mark? Oh, I didn't click on it. There you go. Uh, is it five five series? Twelve Ooh, nine, nine series. series. Says, but then, yeah. Could be uh, really but I'm released. sure. I'm sure they've released five series to DVD, and then probably just stopped because they thought nobody else was interested. <laughs> um, but it's quite. It's, it, again, it was. It was. I suppose it was diverse for, for, for its time. Um, yeah. It was dealing with people with yeah. abnormalities, uh, diverse conditions. Russian doll. You've got, you got an Australian. You've got, yeah, you've got a, a, a fat guy, a French guy, uh, a guy, a, a girl who's got paint all over her. Uh, one guy that you, I think he's deaf. Phones like he just got headphones on. He doesn't speak properly. Uh, back to front, who's heads on backwards. Um, but no, Raggy Dolls was cool. Chuck him in the bin. I say. Yeah, look who's in the reject bin. It's the Raggy Dolls. Raggy Dolls. <laughs> I didn't know David Bowie sung the song. <laughs> Raggy doll. <laughs> Just uh, like you and me. Well, yeah, decent show. Uh, Nightmare. It did, really, it did really well. <laughs> yeah. But for a show that did was so popular, that it didn't yeah, really... it was popular. Yeah, it didn't spawn much merchandise. There was very little. I can remember a lunchbox and a few like plushy kind of doll teddy kind of things coming out. That was pretty much it. Yeah, I don't think were there any physical dolls. Um, I think there was. There was a sad sack. Yeah, uh, I should remember a sad sack. Yeah, he was probably the most popular character. Yeah, but yes, uh, it was Neil Innes that did the. The voice, the songs, the writing. Mm. So yes, he was at the Ruttles, wasn't he? Yep. <laughs> right, he started. That's it. Neil, Neil Innes did the song. Uh, definitely something up with Sad Sack. I remember the yeah. theme tune to Dolls and Sad Sack. He was like, Eeyore from Wind of Blue. Yes. Yeah. And it ran for nine seasons. Yeah, it's, uh, it's some going. That's it. Puddle Lane. Neil Innes as well. Yeah. That was him the other day. Right. We might get finished by midnight. Uh, <laughs> Rainbow. Who knows what that is? Ratties. Rat, uh, rat, 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 ratties. Rat, 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 ratties. Um, Spike yeah, Milligan. Weird little, sh- weird little show by Spike it Milligan. It, 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 it felt quite punkish. It it, like, there's no way I can describe it. it. It just felt like 
loads of rats that were into punk music. It was odd, really. <laughs> um, I've got the annual to this somewhere. Oh, nice. I've got a, a ratty's annual. Um, again, nice. it was one, it was a ITV show. that Only one season, though. One season, yeah, 26 episodes. So, again, there you go, 13 or 26. They're, they're the way they do them because of syndication. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I always liked that. I thought, I thought it was good. It was quite fun, funny. <laughs> Spike um, Milligan narrated the series and much of the narration was ad-libbed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His daughter had the idea. But, yeah, it was a fun show. Yeah, a wild show indeed, <laughs> does he? <laughs> yeah. rap, 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 Razzmatazz, music show, really wild show, Record Breakers, Rent-A-Ghost, uh, The Riddlers. Puppets. Rod Jane and Freddy, Ron Rat, Rolf Harris, we mentioned, Rub and Dub, yeah, Run yeah. Around, Running Scared, Screen Test, Channel, uh, Shoe People, there it is. Right, we got to the Shoe People at last. People. Second hate of this show. Yeah, this was Saturday morning, but very, very early Saturday morning. This this was a six o'clock start, probably the first show to come on TV when, obviously... We can remember TV went off at midnight and came back on at 6 a.m. On a Saturday morning, this was the first show that was shown on ITV, was yeah. Shoe People. Because I was there, uh, let's have a look, 1987. So, yeah, I would have been to 93. I would have been coming in at the time yep. it was starting, of course. Yep. <laughs> so, a, um, again, just like any other... Like we talked about Poddington Peas before and yeah. stuff like that. Um, pretty much the same. Characters were all named after shoes. All, <laughs> all the sort of identities and PC themes boot. of that character yeah, was, was based around a, a shoe. Trampy. Yeah. <laughs> PC boots. Couldn't get PC away boots. with that now. <laughs> yeah. There you go. TV AM. Uh, yep. 52 yep. episodes. Oh, I was in Welsh as well. I don't remember the Welsh one, but probably on later than I would have watched it. All right. <laughs> Rolf getting swiftly cast aside. I think we discovered, or sort of talked about him in the first episode. Yeah. Again, it's sad <laughs> because I loved all his shows. They were great. Uh, nope. Not to be a, not full movies. They're raised from existence. They're yeah. trying. Yeah, it's funny how theme tunes get stuck in your head after all these years, getting nostalgia themes from shows. I don't even remember. Yep. <laughs> it's the good singing. Uh, Wind of the Worlds. I think it might be on the next page. It should be. It was eighties. It will be. Yeah. Uh, all right. What were we doing? That Shoe Pilly, Sam and the Witch. Was that? Sam and the Witch is uh, a live action. So you want to be top sooty show? There was an animated shooty show, but Spot didn't like Spot. Very young. Uh, I think we missed one then. Shadow of the Stone. I oh, think sorry, sorry, that sorry. Is uh, an animated show. Oh, well, wait a minute. I think. Oh, no, I'm thinking of the wrong one. There's, there's... <laughs> Drama series, yeah. Yeah, there's another one. There's a there's a, a cartoon that's got a similar sounding name. Yeah, it's pretty. Of... Right, so Spot was for very young children. Uh... Yeah, I didn't like Spot. <laughs> but take uh, nothing away from him. He, he could sell a book. At, at, he could, yeah, book how many for... books has he got? Jesus, there was hundreds. <laughs> Yeah. They're like three pages at five pound each. Jordan yeah. remembers them. Yeah. There you go. For... <laughs> <laughs> I know them all. That's a sad bloody thing. It's I don't uh... need the, sc- <laughs> the lyrics. You know what I mean? I can't remember people's birthdays, wedding <laughs> anniversaries, anything like that, but I can I can give you the theme tune to Pollington Peas. <laughs> it's uh Super Ted. Super Ted. Have you got any Super Ted? Nope. There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, you, you son of a bitch. Complete series one to three. Great show. Um, a show that is Welsh in origin. It is. And, I remember the Welsh version. Yep. And then did so so good in Wales. Uh, I think it was was it BBC or RTV? I can't, whichever whichever it was. I think came it was in, BBC. Yeah, 
came in with stupid money, bought the rights to it, dubbed it into English, and then <laughs> sold it to everywhere in the world. <laughs> um, but it, yeah, it, it's it's a it's a brilliant show. Um, probably one of the only shows of this kind of nature, British TV wise, were the the bad guys felt like bad guys in it. Uh, yeah, Texas Pete would have Texas Pete killed. felt felt like a, a, a proper asshole. You know what I mean? And he was like, <laughs> you, you could really get into it, but no super talent. I'm, I, there was rumours and whisperings that it, that it was going to be coming back. Um, uh, somebody mm-hmm. picked it up. They was going to be doing something with it, but you, you know what I mean? You, you, you can't call Spotty Spotty anymore. You probably can't <laughs> call Bulk Bulk anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, no John Pertwee so, working here. Melvin Hayes, Terry yeah, Griffith. God only knows. But uh, just a, a, a <laughs> brilliant all-round show. Uh, really good. Nice, yes. Character was created in 1978, but mm. yeah, ran from 82 in Wales and started in 83 in English on BBC. Yeah. So Mother Nature, episodes. yeah, Mother Nature springs sprinkles mm. some cosmic dust onto a teddy bear <laughs> that's been thrown into a recycling bin or like a, a damaged goods bin, and then with that, uh, when Super Ted utters his magic words. <laughs> <laughs> But you never know what his secret word is. Everybody's always trying to find out, but yes, you don't know what his secret word is. It's the same as his safe word, harder. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> turkey, turkey. <laughs> yeah, we don't want them coming back. I'll only be no. watered down compared to what it was. Uh, oh, I was trying to find the Super Ted when I was little, particularly the episode of Super Ted's Dream. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, the kid that Bones was kind of camp. Yeah, Melvin Hayes. Yeah, he was, <laughs> yeah, he was uh, light in the loafer. <laughs> but yes, love some Super Ted. I even had yeah. a toy one. Yep, it's brilliant, brilliant show. Age show with Pertwee, Melvin Hayes. There you go. <laughs> sold sold to one hundred and twenty eight companies. So mm. BBC probably bought it for about twenty quid off S four C. Yeah. And then sold it for millions. <laughs> we have to pay off Savile. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, planned relaunch in 2021, in March 2021. New episodes by 2023, and that's the last they wrote. Yeah, so I, I, nothing's come of it, I don't think. No. An overweight and immensely stupid fool called Bulk. I'm offended. <laughs> What's it say right. about skeleton? It, it must say. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Cowardly, non insmal effeminate, and essentially camp living skeleton. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. He was basically. Described a skeleton as flamboyantly gay. <laughs> <laughs> this hasn't come out yet. Ah, uh, Hannibal Bear Report. Super Ted. <laughs> Cha-ching. Yep. Right, swallow the tea bag. Well, <laughs> I'm not googling images of tea bags. Tea bag, no, we're gonna get all of them <laughs> things. Tales from Fat Tulips Garden. Uh that oh, is Tony Robinson, to- wasn't it? Tony Robinson, yeah. yeah. Telebugs. Telebugs, brilliant. Uh another one I wish someone would release on a DVD. No one's ever released fuck all of it. <laughs> oh uh, yes, I remember them. Scary stuff. It's great. It, it's <laughs> um three robots that are like put together by a scientist and they do like <laughs> help people out but then there's a bad one um and they're just always fighting him it's great it, it's wow. just the 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 opening intro to it is fantastic yeah. uh, but it's a it's a show i liked really really good oh ran for three seasons 86 episodes yeah ron moody it was it's what's it Cat Weasel. Oh, yeah. is it? <laughs> uh, 86 to 87. Yeah, it doesn't ring a bell. The robot's yeah, English. It's, it's good. R- really good. <laughs> Used to fight back to you. Yeah, Tony totally t- Robinson was good, isn't it? Tony t- Boxes t- are on YouTube. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's not quite the same. It's been cleaned up, is it? 
no, right. I, 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 I would imagine it, 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 it could only come off the VHS that, that came out. Yeah. Terrible. Tomas and friends. Do, 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 do. Yeah, again, my brother was a Thomas the Tank fan. Uh, not so much for me. It wasn't. No, not me. Uh, Ringo Star said Thomas. Yeah. But yeah, it, it, it's still going now, probably. Yeah, um, it, it's fucking. It, it must be worth billions, that, that franchise. 584 episodes, 14 films, and six, uh, six double episodes. Yeah, yes, it made uh, some money. Yeah, yeah, it's super popular. So, yeah, <laughs> see, so, yeah, so, um, hang on. Ah, that's it, Fagan in Oliver and Merlin, of course, yes, and Spaceman and King Arthur, of course. That's where I remember yeah. him. Thomas Tank Engine, the stop motion one with Ringo Star, probably the best version compared to the recent CGI ones. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the early stuff, yeah. the amount of effort and sets they had for those. Well, you could, when you could use the word fat controller. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they just use this Lord, whatever his name now, don't they? Oh, yeah, I have no idea. No, I remember sending a drawing of Telebugs into CITV competition, being pissed off I didn't win. Yeah, yeah my designs for the Star Wars themed thing in Blue Peter was too good. Yep, I uh, I did a lot of that kind of stuff back in the day. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, see, Thomas the Tank Engine for the Charles of the two thousands. Thomas was lovely. Michael Angelus took over Ringo Star. Nobody noticed. Yeah, he just did an impression of Ringo Star. Was I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know. He's the one that did um, Ringo's oh, voice in the uh, Yellow Submarine film. Or was I making shit up now? Doesn't say. But yeah, he's a scout, so no one down south noticed. No. <laughs> <laughs> they all sound the same. Yes. The stop motion makes it feel like a model railway. So, yeah, that's what made it yeah, so special. That's what made it charming, yeah. Mm. Uh, yes, the flat controller, James Gordon, Henry Toby, the tram. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe the fat controller slimmed down, so you can't call him a fat controller. Just yeah, there was, like a big black controller. Nasty, there was a big black nasty train in it called Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, CJ ruined all the charm. Yeah, they could do a lot more very quickly as well. Yeah, gonna... yeah. <laughs> yeah. More than the obese controller. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're in the home straight through the dragon's eye. Educational, go away. Tickle yeah. on the thumb. Uh, it, That's very brilliant. Uh, it's it's a live action thing, but it was fantastic. I loved it. Yeah. Uh, no pictures. Right, Topsy and Tim is... Nope. Totty. Oh, I love a bit of Totty. <laughs> Top Totty. Stop motion. Yeah. Mm. None of it rings Story a bell. Story from a doll's house. No, not, not sure. And, oh, ooh, it's fucking the, the stuff of nightmares. Oh, Christ, yeah. <laughs> Little girls yeah, would be I don't remember that, either that or I've just blacked it out. I'm not sure which it is. <laughs> They've animated these creatures. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Eighties dolls were scary. Yeah. <laughs> it's the kind of shit your nan, your nan would have had in a cupboard in a fucking best room. <laughs> oh, the best room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, quickly moving on. It's going to be bedtime soon. <laughs> um. But yeah, 118 episodes. Oh no, it's tickle on the tum. As I say, Tick, yeah, I was going to say tick, tickle on the tum. Was oh, great. it's Cosgrove as well. <laughs> Shit, I didn't know that. Oh no, that was, that was just I had the browser open. What oh, bloody hell! I thought oh, they wouldn't God, do that. Yeah. Shit. Una Stubbs though, voicing uh, oh. ten episodes. That makes more sense on the BBC. Yeah, I fucking got two years out of it. Eighty-four to eighty-six. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of animation to do. Yeah. Drag this shit out. Ten episodes, fifteen minutes longer piece of that. Yeah. Darn of the you dog know. made of clipped wood and a darning needle for a backbone. <laughs> it's a, Brilliant. It's like fucking Hellraiser. Yeah, I mean, what kind of what audience is watching that? <laughs> Ooh, right, get off that. Uh Towser. Well, that was mentioned, wasn't it? Or was that Yeah, I mentioned Towser. There we go. No, oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I can't do two clicks. Right. <laughs> There we go. Like? There we go. Oh, 
familiar. Yeah, I mean, I, there is a complete set. I've only got episodes one to ten. Um, again, right in here. It's got that, yeah, that really sort of janky animation style. It's a, it's a little bit better than most that that do this. It was like a janky animation with like a, a water coloured set background. Ah, yes. Um, but it, it's just about a mischievous dog, basically. Yeah, doesn't ring a bell. So, That's not like. Just gets episodes. up to uh, antics if you like. If you like King Rollo, then the chance of your ah, that's is the pretty, style I was thinking of when I saw him. Yeah, pretty pretty much the same. Uh, it's the same. Yeah. Uh, Eighty four. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, a, a decent little show for it is. Oh, Ian like track trouser. Uh, <laughs> Totty looks creepier than Bagpuss. <laughs> Wasn't expecting any Totty on this stream. No, not with us too. <laughs> Season one to five of the best, yes, they were. Totty looks like one of those nuclear test villages with creepy dummies. <laughs> <laughs> this is someone's childhood you're speaking of. Yeah, right. I mean, I'm not having anybody who's into that. There we go. Stay away from that trap door. Hang on. Me first, as usual, because I'm special. Because there's something down there. I'm so special, I can't find a mouse. Right, there we go. Hey. Channel five, creepy crawly adventures. And yours is the complete collection, complete collection. All forty episodes. Only um, four. Yeah, it, it's another one that just seemed to go on forever and ever and ever. <laughs> uh, Willie Rushton at his finest. Mm. Um, he's brilliant as Burke. Yeah. Um, Burke. Burke. Come in, master. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's like. Really, really good. Uh, some episodes are dark as fuck in it. Like for a kids' show, they are really dark. Um, some of the monsters, considering they were plasticine, would have scared the shit out of small kids. It's like the, it was like a plasticine version of the thing. Yeah, like <laughs> it, 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 it's it's bonkers. But the, the the bizarre thing about it is, unlike a lot of claymation stuff, where only the main characters are moving. Yes. The background is constantly moving in this. Constantly, the background is alive. It, it's really, really good. Um, so there will like little things appear on screen, uh, yeah. little worms and maggoty kind of things. And, <laughs> um, the 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 little spider creature. I always forget his bloody name. He's got a name on it. Uh, uh, him. He just he just always drop that's it it just always appears like he's not part of the story he'll just come like rolling along for, like no reason or just appearing in like top left hand corner and you're going what the fuck the fuck's he doing up there he is um but i went back and watched it all back to back oh. not that long back really and it holds up really well it is it is brilliant it's so well done it's so well written and narrated um there's uh, the second series it sort of uh, you get more outside of the castle. So ah. I'm going to bore people now, but if you don't know the story behind Trapdoor, is the first series uh, was ITV. I think it, the first series was ITV. And then they only ran for the first series. That was it. There was no more. Uh -huh. And then years later, Channel 4 picked it up uh, and Channel 4 did a second series of it. Uh, so I would imagine that Channel 4 still on the rise. Now, I know it says ITV there, 86, but I am sure Channel 4 now on the rights to Trapdoor because they put the second series out. Makes sense. Um, yeah. Um, and the second series felt more dark. It felt <laughs> like you, more things were happening outside of the castle or outside of the kitchen, really, where Buck and Borny yeah. were. Um, yeah, well, the, char the character of Borne was just a skull. So how the hell he moved around from scene to scene, I don't know. He's not got any legs. <laughs> but he was in every scene. Uh, yes, I had the Spectrum game, which was great fun. It's like, go over uh, here, yeah. pick this up, bring it over here, put it in there. Man. Yeah, it is, here's a portion. Go take it for like 14 screens to your left. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Avoiding everything that can kill yeah. you. <laughs> Uh, but went down into the cellar in one episode. I was terrified for him. <laughs> yeah, and when he goes into the cellar, it turns out he can get outside of the castle. 
Ah. And he ends up outside of the castle looking in, but then he doesn't know how to get back in the castle. Ah. It, it, that, <laughs> that happens a couple of times. And there's like, there's reoccurring stories in some. So like, you'll watch episode two and then you'll get to like episode seven and it picks up where episode two leaves off. And like the same monster will come back out and the story kicks in. It's really good. Um, it's really well, really well done. But again, yeah. the, 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 the song again is everyone knows the song. Don't you, Don't open, you open that, that trap door because there's something down there. Yes, it was very, very much a hell of an animation show. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yep. I didn't. Yeah, I've never seen it. The outside of the place. I've only seen the ITV one. Yeah. Suspense of disbelief is needed for <laughs> Bodhi. It is. <laughs> It is because he could just right. be like he, he, the other way he gets through, he sort of like wobbles from side to side. Yeah, like you're going, you just fall over. <laughs> right, tricky business sitcom Tube Mice. Uh, Tube Mice is good. Uh, again, uh, another one a bit like Rat Rat Ratties. Ah, um, let's have a look. Oh, if no, you remember it. Like the actual tube mice. I used to like the, watching the mice on the tube. Yeah, they were uh, like punks. Yeah. Oh, yes. Again, they, they, they yeah. were like punks that lived there. I punks. Uh, a good show. I, I don't think it's got any physical... There might be some VHS copies of it kicking around yeah. somewhere, but... 26 episodes, uh, one season. Oh, George Cole and Dennis Waterman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a good show. Uh, animation style's like nice and crusty on it. It's It's... Mm. It feels like a like a, it's got a punk ethos to it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, I don't, it's good. yeah. There's nothing. That's you get. That's a lot. It's very mm. minimal. That one. Never even heard of it myself. Tugs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got to be careful like, here. Avert your exactly. eyes. <laughs> yes. uh, got it with anything, but yeah, if if you like <laughs> Thomas the Tank and stuff like that, basically yeah. it's the same shit, but with bolts. <laughs> <laughs> well, there they are. Yeah, Boats being I remember it. I don't think I ever watched a great deal of it because when no. it came out, I, I, you know what I mean. I was I was at fucking high school when this came out. So. What's this? Eighty nine, yeah. Yeah, eighty nine and ninety was it? Yeah, some of that. Who's don't recognise? No, no names. No, I don't reckon. Thanks. In the voices, anyway. Thirteen episodes, yeah, that explains a lot. It wasn't as popular then. Uh, right, GP to you. Saturday morning show. Val meets the VIPs. No, Wackadoo done. We are the champions. What a mess. Books. Why don't you? Oh, why don't you? I think we must have missed. Why don't you? <coughs> There's a show in itself. Oh, Will here, quack here quack. We go. Will quack quack. <laughs> Another Welsh show that was dubbed into English. I didn't think anyone would know this one. About a naughty little duck that won't eat his porridge. <laughs> the whole beginning of the thing. Um, this was another one like Shoe People that came on at like six o'clock on a Saturday morning. Ah, yes. Uh, very, very early morning show. I remember the was, book. Yeah. A, again, was a was a, a, a Welsh TV show that got adapted into, into English. Yes. Will quack quack. I'm guessing. Yeah, I, I think I, I think there's some DVDs. I suppose VHS of it. I think there is a DVD of it as well. If I'm, yeah. not, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Linda fell in. He goes, <laughs> "Oh, ma'am," when he's talking all the time, <laughs> "ma'am." Um, but yeah, it's oh, just yeah. normally yeah. him complaining about having to do mundane day-to-day -day things. Hmm. I don't recognise Lisa Ross, the American English version, but uh, I barely remember Tugs. As you know, I doesn't remember Tugs. Do look like they have the same faces as Thomas the Go. Yeah, uh, it's very late eighties, eighty eight, around that area, I think. Tugs. Yeah, eighty nine. It's uh, <laughs> where do we get to? Willow. Ah, Willow. Will Will Where's my Willow the Wisp? Oh, I put it down yeah, earlier. Didn't we had that earlier, didn't we? Yes, it's I've like lost shit mine. Out here now, it's... <laughs> There we go. Oh, I'm the fat fairy. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
good show. Bizarre. TV. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Only uh, again, I always, thought, I always thought it was 70s, me, this. Yes, I was. I would have said 70s, but yeah, it says 81. 81. And it was brought back with James Dreyfus in 2005. Jesus. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but I, I, I'd, I'd have swore this was like 78, 79 yeah, around that time, but 81. Ooh, Arthur. Ooh, Arthur. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, this, this particular company, they, they, they put quite a few of these out. Um, and they, they're worth picking up. You can pick them up pretty cheap, these. It's nice they've done, like, complete series. Of complete yeah, it's only one series, isn't it, by the look of it? Yeah. <laughs> 26 um, episodes. Yeah. Always thought they got it went on for years. So. Yeah, but again, the same the same company that, that put that out. They also put Bod out. Oh, Bod! Uh, they also put Crystal, Crystal Tips and Alistair's. This is quite difficult to get hold of now. Mm. Um, they also did Evil Edna. That's it. Yeah, I can't find it, but they did uh, the Kenneth flump. Williams. They put the flumps out as well. And, uh, and of course, you love and... the flumps. Oh, flumps are great. <laughs> that, well, that was that, is, that is about as northern as it gets. That in it, flump. Fucking wool hats, woolly hats. Uh, right, yeah. Wimple Village. No, pretty good. Wind in the Willows. There it is. Yeah, where the hell's my Wind in the Willows? Just got another one. <laughs> Many I'm versions. He's drowning in DVDs. Beep, beep. It? Said Badger. Um, oh, there it is. Man. Re- a, a really expensive set to find. This is the full late feature film. Um, I, I, from what I've been reading, it's getting a re release. I'm hoping it's not as expensive as what the, yeah. the current uh, out of print DVD goes for. If, if it's around the 30 quid mark, I don't mind because it'll be there'll be a lot of discs, there's four series of it, oh, uh, right. and then the, the, the feature length will, will be in that set as well. They're all digitally remastered. <laughs> um, so I, I probably will pick it up because, like I said, the the out of print DVD set that there is now goes for for like serious money. And again, it's a it's a it's a charming little show. Yeah. And again, Mo, more Cosgrove Grove Hall, David Jason. You know what I mean? Peter Sellers. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it, it's great. I, I always I've always liked it. For me, yeah. it always reminds me of lazy Sunday afternoons in winter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I never liked the books. I think I tried the books once, but it was, it was never as fun. Yeah. Uh, but everyone knows that. So, uh, yes, Mr. Ben was the famous one, was it? You think there's hundreds of episodes, but there's like six, isn't there? Or something stupid, yeah, there's not. Yeah, there's not many. <laughs> And uh, oh, he's got the complete set. The winner yeah, was that, the that, that, that was for good money. <laughs> it was the bride's head revisited of kids' TV, yeah. yeah. But it is, it is charming, it's really charming. The music, the way it looks, the, the, yeah. the, the, the sort of animation style again. Beep, David beep. Jason's taught is great. <laughs> uh, oh, I nearly put you on time out there, uh, Jordan. Uh, uh, yes, favorite Mr. Toad. It's been a few. That's it, Michael Horden. That's the Badger, wasn't he? Yeah. Didn't see him mentioned or I missed him. Where is he? There he is. I must have missed him. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I did love that show. Uh, wind, wind Falls. Oh, stop motion animation. Windfall. I'm not sure about this one. Uh, even Google's not sure about this one. Ugh. <laughs> no, Jesus, no, that, that is setting nostalgic alarm bells ringing. <laughs> no, I I wouldn't have got it off the ident or the name of the show, but no, you've shown me that. Yeah, it, it's the one that Luke, it, it, it's like fuzzy felt. Yeah, kill it with fire. <laughs> yeah, so it's like fuzzy, it, 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 yeah, it's like fuzzy felt, but they're using dried plants. Ah, as well, like dried yeah. fauna. To, it, it, it's fucking weird. I do remember it, but I, I would have never have got that off the title or the identity. No, Windfall. Uh, 26 episodes, Peter Hawkins, uh, Film Fair and Central Independent Television. 89, so yeah. 
It was late. Yeah. Just in there. Yeah, it's not. It's an odd one, but like I said, I do. I do remember it. So it came out on VHS. That's about it. No one's seen it since. No. It, 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 to be fair, it probably wasn't that good, but <laughs> it, it it looks a bit uh, to, so You're right. It does look like a low ridge road. <laughs> Again, um, there's another northern connection. Ah, Ralph McTell sang the, the theme for Wind of the Willows. Yeah, never. That's right. Wind of the Willows. Yes. His badger was wonderful. The definitive. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, yeah, that was a horrible. Oh, the Witches of Grinny Nog. I don't. That's six part time. I don't know. Where's the yeah. bit? Missed that ha, last this one. away, ha ha that away, ha ha this away, my oh <laughs> my, my. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah enough of that rubbish. I used Words to be a little bit, little bit, little bit. I used to be a little bit. <laughs> the swamp monster, whatever it is, with the yeah, slime the monster. The bummer. Where's the damage? Uh, you and me, young Sherlock, and your mother wouldn't like it, right? Yeah, we missed some of these, or they've been added since we started. I think some, yeah, I think some friends. stuff's been added to this list, and it somebody's gone back to it and it's updated not two it. pages before. No. Ah, there we go. Right. Last few minutes, <laughs> as usual, it's taken a while. <laughs> yeah, um, at least we've hit on something I know something about this time. Well, well there we go. So that's why we're going to do uh, with, with Real Ghostbusters next month. Ooh. One off special. Or continuing yeah, I mean, with American. Real Ghostbusters. Who doesn't like Real Ghostbusters? I mean, it's yeah. probably the, the, the quintessential 80s cartoon show that still holds up like massively. Um, <laughs> it, it, the animation style's good, the acting's good, the stories are phenomenal in it, and it's set in the universe of Ghostbusters, and it's set in between Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters Two, so yes. it all ties in. Everything ties in. It's great. And it also great ruined show. Ghostbusters Two to make it more like <laughs> yep. Ghostbusters. Yep, because all the kids that have got into Ghostbusters have got into it off the real Ghostbusters, not the original film. Yeah. Um. So like Janine Change Lords and you know what I mean. It's yes. But <clears throat> but it, it's a really really good show. So some of the the sort of like. Uh, ghost characters in it, the, the, the obviously the the bad guys of each episode are truly fucking frightening. Like the the there's the, the Sandman episode. Holy shit! You know what I mean? It's like really dark. All right, all right. Don't give too much away. Yeah, but that that'd be a, <laughs> a, a really good one. So and yeah, if anybody's got that that um, time life firehouse. Uh, DVD box set that they want to uh, give to a, a, a charity of, uh, <laughs> of of my chosen thing, then yeah, send it my way. I will deal with it. Um, <laughs> I'd love that. It goes for mental money now. I mental bet it money. Bloody does. Um, but, but also, next month is get your Christmas presents from the Argos catalogue from 1985. <laughs> the book I've already of marked my dreams. <laughs> That it is. Yes. Uh, um, oh, I hate the the first page is a bit bigger than all the rest. Right. Who so. doesn't like an Argos catalog? Because I does. am bloody obsessed with them. So they're <laughs> my little pony beauty set. <laughs> but it's the bed Just. covers. Where's the bed covers? There's some as there some of them are pretty apt for tonight's show. So, Black and Decker. Something for the dads. Yeah. Jewelry for the mums. Uh, Who doesn't wait. want a massive nine carat gold sovereign? <laughs> <laughs> I want that new color TV. Oh, a calculator. Uh, oh, I think. Uh, I think. Oh, Terra 2600, get in. Oh, look at that headset, a Walkman with the orange foam. Nah, I can't find it. Oh, ladies, there's no underwear section in this, luckily. Oh, there's a gro gro groin shot there, though. Typical, yeah, I can't yeah. find it. I should mark page numbers down. Oh, soda stream. Only the posh Oof. kids had those. Yeah. We had yeah. straws to blow into the. Yeah, we had waiting for, pop, we for pop man coming on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I pressed too much. Right. There we go. There we go. No, Last one. Them. <laughs> so, that yeah. Fucking so... 18 one's amazing. <laughs> 
You zoom in. There you go. <laughs> oh, look at that. What's that? My Little Pony, Master Universe. Who's that pink one? Dongoro. Uh... I'm not making it. I don't. Know. I don't. I think I should be generic girls. And then Rainbow yeah. Bright, Red Thomas. Red Bright, Thomas. I'm not I sure if Thomas is a the fit holograms all. at the first, but it's not, is it? I don't know. It nah, yes. It just seems to be. Oh, Barbie. Is that what it is, Barbie? Allegedly. But yes. Yeah, but so if, then, you could, if you could get one of them 18 ones in a, in a king size, I'd be sleeping <laughs> under it now. They'd make a fucking mint, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, of course they would. <laughs> you know I mean? So that's it's, next uh... month, we'll go through the whole catalogue, mostly for the toys first. Wait, 300 and pages of Absolute joy. banging toys in from 80 to 89. I am getting myself Fantastic. a tease made. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't want a tease made? Who doesn't want some stew tea at half past six in the morning? <laughs> oh, yeah, you forget to put the cup on and just pisses boiling water in it. everywhere. All the bedside <laughs> cabinet. But, uh, <laughs> right, yeah, the real Ghostbusters are very good. Oh, he's got his Ghost Blaster projector. Bastard. Ooh. <laughs> Eagle's hair changed color, yes. Yes, he went blind as well, was in it. There's any more. Yeah. I love the pages. I've got like, they have the Casio. Yes, got my Casio watch here to show off on the yeah. <laughs> Eternal Bear Cup and Saucer set. <laughs> uh, when is the Argos thing? It's in November. Uh, 7th, was it? Uh, oh, that's October. I thought, hang on, what's tightrope? I've done that. Um, Argos, yes, the evening of the 7th, Thursday, the 7th of November, so not far away. I used to circle Mr. Frosty every year, bloody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, we're gonna uh, get a lot of that. Yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, every, every fucking adult when they went into Argos catalogue for Luke what the kids are circling on, Christ, they missed the Mr. Frosty. <laughs> you know I mean? There were fucking syrup everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Because, yeah, you had to make the ice and to put it in yeah. the blood and thing. <laughs> yeah. Forget, <laughs> one, forget one that slushy ice here that was about that big. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Mum, can you buy another set of syrups, please? <laughs> <laughs> and you can imagine how sugary the fucking thing was. Oh, yeah, you'd be off your nut. <laughs> the Walkmans, yes, I'm looking forward to seeing all the Walkmans. Alba Walkmans, they were the best for a tenner. Of course, of course they were. They're oh, the only, they were the only ones I was getting. I wasn't getting a Sony or a Sanyo. No, <laughs> Alba or a Goodman's all the way. Yeah, you're having the black <laughs> foam yeah. headphones. But but Mum, eventually... one of them yellow Sony ones. Fuck yeah. off. They're like no, yellow Sony ones with the little circles that fit in your ears. <laughs> no, yeah. you're not. No, you're not having one of them. You'll have the foam that deteriorates and then gets sharp bits in your ears. Yeah. But yes, we'll go through that. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, actually. Uh, yes, the toys and games. Like still now, whenever I get the like, oh, I've got to get along the first. <coughs> I go to toys and games. Yeah. But yes, that's in a few weeks. So we'll see uh, Tony back then. And then thanks for Tony for joining us tonight. No, thank you. It's always fun as always. Oh, good. That's what we hope for. And it's late, <laughs> half eleven on a school night again. Oh, it's okay. I don't work Fridays, so. <laughs> No, that's why we have on Thursdays. But that's I why we have on Thursdays because I don't do anything on the Friday. <laughs> well, I, in fact, I, 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 t I tell a lie. This week, I oh. am off to uh, for the Love of Horror convention in Manchester all weekend. Oh, son of a bitch! So I am there all weekend with the good gentleman from the Slaughtered Lamb podcast. Um, so I'm going Perfect. over there with Darren and Frank. That's uh, that. Frank's yeah. Frank's over from the States. Oh, cool. uh, so I'm up there with them men and Wolfman's Got Nerds and uh, Batshit Scurry and there's a few others going over. And I don't me and Dave to are going over. Get my invite. I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you see Chris Durand from uh, Halloween H2O, he's going to be there. Yep. Yeah, there's a. It, it, it seems to be a good weekend. You know what I mean? It's uh, it it's cost it's cost me a, a a king's ransom in accommodation for the weekend. I don't know why. You know they I mean? they it's, know. <laughs> it's like uh, yeah, was it they, Silverstone getting a premiere in for a grand a night when you whenever yeah, but the, 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 the problem is like every guest house B and B Airbnb hotel in Manchester has like quadrupled the price, but bowlers only holds five thousand people. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> 
why has every single player's put the price through the roof? It's just fucking stupid. Yeah. But I found I found an Airbnb, a self-contained apartment in Salford, so I'm Ooh. I'm setting up camp there for the weekend. Nice. Apart from Salford. Um Instead of thank you, trailing backwards and forwards. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah, you for the Argos live stream. Should be fun. Yes. A lot of old great. men are crying about what they never had got. <laughs> yeah, or, or, or stuff that I did have that I've let slip through my fingers over the years and I really want it back now. But there's so much nostalgia tax on it that I can't afford it anymore. <laughs> yes. There's going to be a lot of that. But take yeah, care. Lots of it. All right. Good night. See you next time. See you, everybody. <laughs>